Your cart pulls along through a mountain valley, following the occasionally jerked guide of the rocky and well-worn road underneath its wooden tires. It's been a few days since you left your, left for Alaron, and the and while conversation has been hasn't been entirely silent, there has been a significant amount of downtime. Uh, uh, if you guys want to talk to NPCs or each other or do things in the cart, feel free. Um, so, I'll give you like a minute or two to kind of describe those before we like push forward. Who's in the cart with us again? Uh, there is currently Slug Knight. Uh, there is um, Naira. I think her name is. Let me check again. Super quick. Naira. There is Taurus, the Crown Prince. There is um, Chud. There is a large armored man who has not spoken to any of you. And uh, last but not least is um, Ulfar. Hey, hey, Chud, what what are you all about? What's your deal? Sup, dude? <laughs> Have you been, like, working out, buddy? Like, you look sick. Like, oh, yeah, look, flex those guns for me, dude. And Jimothy just, like, gives him a quick pow-pow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he does, like, a, like, a, oh, like a little playful sort of, like, oh, he's getting beaten up thing. He's like, nice. So, like, listen, dude. Like, do you want to go, like, Score? <laughs> score? Yeah, like, you know, like, go to a bar and just, like, you know, like, let people know what you're about. Oh, that's like, what well, score means in this world. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the kids are calling No, it's, it. what, it's what score means in Chud's mind. Remember, oh, he's... <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> well, um... N no, I think we're, we're currently on our way to a... To a destination for a mission, so I don't think right, that but like there's a... definitely a bar there, and there's gonna be some hotties. Immediately, Orgoloth whips around, like, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm buying what you're selling. <laughs> they just like they bond, like, visually, like, in the eyes of each other, just like looking and just like, you get me. Um, as uh, uh, like um just like from like from like his uh his shirt it looks like uh a small uh ferret just kind of pops out and he just like starts petting it and they're like wait it, po it, po it popped out of chud's pocket <laughs> shirt shirt okay yeah. Oh, yeah chud what is that creature it seems very clean and charming Oh, uh, this is Gavin. He spots me. <laughs> Gavin. What an excellent name. Yeah, it's pretty chill. What's up, Gavin? And you just hear, like, chirping in response. Like, <laughs> good one. Wait, wait. What do you mean spots you? Like, like lifting weights? Because that's... I don't believe yeah, bro. you. I think you're lying to us. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to roll? Um, make uh, Gavin roll a strength check and arm wrestle Orgolath or something. Or no, make <laughs> yeah, make Gavin. I mean, yeah, you can challenge into, you can uh, you can challenge into an arm wrestle. You can uh, try to do I guess insight. Yeah, um, I'm just ro I'm already rolling insight. <laughs> oh man, now I is someone eight. like eating cereal or something? Yeah. Someone definitely is. Stop! It's that. not me. <laughs> Fucking. Oh, well, who, whoever is eating cereal, stop that. I don't... It's not me. I'm serially eating. I'm kidding, I'm not doing it. I'm, just, I'm drinking a coffee, but I have not been clicking it against metal. I definitely hear what oh, sounds to be hearing, something No, I, I, I'm hearing, something. like, clicking. I also heard it. I haven't heard it, but maybe it's, like, my mic stand or something? Because it's not something I've noticed, but I'm not eating. Yeah. Oh, maybe it was um, when yeah, you it sounded... grabbed your dice. I don't know. Um, uh, Warnicky. Uh, oh, yeah. but anyway, no, Paleus totally buys it. Oh, he he bought it. What'd you roll? I rolled an eight. I rolled an eight. Ah, yeah, yeah definitely, definitely failed it. Then I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, you just, he looks at you straight face, like, um, and from his expression, you can't gleam any sort of like he's trying to bullshit you or anything. Um, you can sense that he's very chill. <laughs> Right. Like almost obliviously chill. Like 
Like, there could be a fire behind you, and he would still be okay. <laughs> so we just gonna, like, smoke weed in this caravan with Chud the whole time? I mean, it feels like it's headed towards there. Um, is there anything else you guys want to do while you're in the cart? I, I'm kind of hype on this idea of Orgoloth arm wrestling Gavin now, honestly. Well, I mean, I believe Wait, him. Arm wrestling Gavin? Yeah. yeah. Not Chud, Gavin. That's the. Yeah, no, they were. Okay. That was what he wanted, I wanted to do. I wanted to believe that the ferret is as strong as Gavin. Or is that. Uh, okay. let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, I give me a second. I need to pull up a stat sheet. <laughs> but yeah, no, let's. Okay. So, Paleus, you and, and the ferret, um, who crawls out of um, no, no, no. Uh, Chud's is... shirt, and you realize that they're about the same size, which is kind of concerning. Um, uh, like, walks over to the table on his little stubby hind legs. And, uh, you know, sits at one end and looks up at you. Okay, I guess I'm arm wrestling Gavin. Let's do this. I mean, you're this. the one that doubted him. To be fair, <laughs> if, if me and Gavin arm wrestled, I would roll a performance, not a strength, and then, like, fake him slamming my hand down. For the sake of well, cuteness. Yeah. All right, am I rolling just straight strength, or is this an athletics check? Uh, that seems athletic. like a that seems like a strength, because he's not yeah. vaulting anything. It's like a contest of strength. I mean, yeah, they'll both be just rolling strength. Then again, strength. you do roll, like, athletics for, like, grapple checks, which are also contests, so... Yeah. I don't know. You can just roll strength, don't worry. It, it, it's it's yeah. gonna be... <laughs> I was super hoping for athletics. <laughs> so, Orgoth would like to, um, using subtle spells so no one oh, notices, cast um, an enhance ability on Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what does that do again? Um... Let me actually pull that up. I'm pretty. It like increases his. He gets like advantage on strength rolls and stuff like that. Let okay, me, he's gonna definitely need it. Let me pull that up. Uh, All right, ready? Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh Christ! What does he have to beat? Strength, <laughs> not athletics. Yeah, I know. He has to beat a ten. <laughs> Fuck! He might actually. Are you shitting me? Did I just what? lose? Okay. No. Um, he critted <laughs> as you go Did flying Gavin across the cart. <laughs> you you go flying across the cart and slam into a, into a nearby wall. Orgulov high fives Gavin immediately. <laughs> <laughs> His little pat as he scurries back over to Chud, and Chud's like, "Nice, dude." <laughs> uh, yeah, Gavin's a strong one. I'm going back to the roof. I climb back out. <laughs> Dejected. Angrily. Loss. <laughs> Just immediately. Oh. Okay. Um. Oh man, can I give can I give uh the ferret a candy? I mean, yeah, you have like three, right? Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah give him a candy. I, I give him a candy. Candies. Right. Um, I'm not stockpiling, I've just been given them and then haven't eaten them. Yeah. Both of you get an inspiration, by the way. Cool. Yeah. You know what I am stockpiling is this inspiration. <laughs> For being good boys. Wait, um, who get, wait, who gets the inspiration? Just uh, uh, J uh and Stuart and Warnke. So okay. Jimothy and Peleus. Okay. Yeah. Uh is there anything is there anything else at all before I move on? Because I just um, want to keep this going. Oh, it's just yeah. like get baked with Gavin. Yeah. You uh <laughs> get He's a ferret. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but like most you, ferrets can't like throw a monk across a cart. This is you true. Uh, you notice that the the cart is like starting to like lose a bit of light as you're nearing what appears to be a tunnel um, on this mountainous road. Um, just throwing it out there, Gavin. And do you want to hotbox oh, this tunnel? I'm gonna cast <laughs> the whole tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> what? I'm sorry. Repeat that for me one more time. I said, Gavin, would you like to hotbox this tunnel? I like how you're asking Gavin and not Chud. <laughs> well, at this point, I'm half convinced that Chud is actually Gavin's familiar. <laughs> <laughs> they are both equally sized. It is a fair assessment. Yeah. Um, he puts a little paw at his like chin, or what would be his chin. He he's a he doesn't have a chin. Um, uh, before shaking his head. Oh. He he is clearly not the type to toke before he lifts. Because that's, oh, that's not fair. safe. Oh, that's definitely true. Uh, your cart it, is just completely swallowed up by the minimal light of the, of the uh, tunnel as it drives through. Uh, the path ahead seeming dark for a moment, only for the familiar light of day to peek out from the tunnel's exit um, as you make your way through. Um, if you guys want, you can look at the windows to see what the cart is right now. Um, there are, like, a few on the cart. I'm on the roof, so... So I'm you would see this. Um, yeah. Yeah. 
Your cart Does he rides through. Bang his head on the entrance of the tunnel. Uh, no, it's definitely tall enough for okay. the cart. And also, everything. I would assume can, if I see it coming and it's not tall enough, I would get it just down. lays down, just like <laughs> not, not like this is my fate now. I accept this as my death. Um, <laughs> although that would be amazing. Um, your cart rides through, opening up to, to your first sights of the sea in ages. A long way down your mountainous path, you can see a thriving Mediterranean port town, as well as a few rocky islands, one at an angle in size that makes it almost look like a large frozen wave. Down a winding coastline pass, suddenly changing from dirt to brilliantly pale blue stones as your cart rolls along down the zigzagged path, and eventually, after what feels like a tedious amount of time, uh, a more exciting and more slide shape uh, when a more exciting and slide shaped path could have been constructed for those more daring and with less patience could opt for instead of this concerningly long path is finally overcome the cart rolls closer to where a town's gate normally is stopping with the town's entrance just a head up ahead past the stables oh that seems nice yeah um if you guys want i can describe the town a bit before you guys head inside like yeah. the, what you see so far Good. um you see uh, the whitewashed cubiform houses of, it, of the town citizens clung to multi-layered cliffs and sprawl across shorelines above a mass of underwater caves. The Mediterranean-style homes surround city centers where public forums are held and marketplaces thrive. The buildings overlook the sea, small islands to the west, and beaches made up of black, red, and white lava pebbles, as well as a modestly-sized port that allows the small kingdom to thrive as a trade city and fishing hub. All right. Is there a lighthouse? Yeah. Did you mention that and I just missed it? No. Well, that's fine, because there's a lighthouse and that makes me happy. Real quick because... recap, because it's been a bit. We're here to suppress barbarians outside the gate or something, right? Outside the city? Um, You're here to party and have a good time. Fuck no, yeah! Um, <laughs> um, you are here on a series of things. You were told to come here. Yeah. Um, by the Alhoon, you um, were mentioned that there were the the Iron Sun was here causing a ruckus nearby, and um, you are here escorting the prince on a peace mission. So negotiations. So three different things, and all of them pretty much concern you. <laughs> Makes sense. Awesome. Yeah. Because yeah. Anyway. Um, uh, 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 so you obviously park your cart and everyone piles out of this small station wagon. Um, and uh, Is it a station wagon now? No, no, not, not a station cart. It's still a cart. I use the word station wagon knowing that that's the wrong word. Are there the station at least wagon has like four the... doors on it? Yes. <laughs> then it's a sedan. It's the proper time. <laughs> <laughs> it's made of wood. Yeah, wood paneling was huge. <laughs> Damn it. Um... So, uh, as you guys walk through the town, you notice that people are wearing more cloth-like attire, with a lot more flow to their design, some adorning or wearing on top of the outfits made with fish scale-like patterns that glisten in the sunlight. So, wait, so their their clothes look like fish? No, it has, like, fish scales and stuff. Like, it's, like, clearly modeled to, oh, like, okay. either resemble or literally, like, designed to be, like, little plates of fish scale. Oh. It's very... That's nice. Yeah. Um... Jimothy, Jimothy wants to buy a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I I got this at the coast of Torin. It says in scales. Orgoloth is gonna start collecting. No, no, no it thimbles. just says like like bedazzled. I, it says I heart Torin, and that's it. <laughs> okay. Or, I, I like. But, I negotiated a, a peace treaty on the coast of Torin, and all I got was this stupid T-shirt. <laughs> you can talk to the shopkeeps later about commemorative T-shirts. I'm sure they'd be happy to uh, to uh, oblige for a bit of coin. But you are wearing that over your arm for the rest of the campaign. <laughs> That's fine. I'm gonna be wearing this. He's just he he says I. It says I heart torn. You just like run like into a like, a, like a like a like a like a great uh, devil lord or something. He's like foolish. Mo Wait, what does it say on your chest? <laughs> yeah, I got this at the coast of Torin. It's like, oh man, I really should get. I wish I could go in there. I wish I get one of the shirts. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta go. To, I gotta it's go to Torin. Time, it's really yeah. nice over there. A. Uh, Specifically, um, Orgoloth, you notice a older woman with pale skin and a series of very thin decorative scarfs and a noble woman's dress, um, concernedly, uh, walking past. Specifically, uh, I notice the scarves, though. Yeah. You, you notice everything about her. Um. But mostly, mostly the scarves. 
As Orgoloth's Orgoloth's got a good thing for Scar. Oh, she yes. uh she walks up and she says, "Excuse me, I need to get through, please." Well, yes, right this way. And Orgoloth just stands aside. Oh, thank you. Are you familiar with me and my work? I yes, feel like course. I'm about to find out. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you must know, I am the Madame Prisvarian. Oh yes. Not a big fan of yellow. We have that in common. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, it doesn't matter what I'm a fan of, because, well, you see, my shipments of silks and clothing have been missing for months now. Ooh, did did you pay for them first? Yes, of course. I sent the Lionhearts a very hefty payment, even throwing it a little on top to kind of keep things at the peace between us. Our families have always fought. So oh, you mean I... to say that you did send the money in time? At that they... <laughs> Orgoloth, like, this dawns on him that uh, this, this company... Yes, my courier been... was supposed to show up for one of those uh, parties that a, that a local lord was throwing, but sadly he got shot with a crossbow. Oh, man. Well, these things do happen. <laughs> yeah. Those things do happen quite often. People, now our people you, you, will continue to suffer in this pointless conflict with those cruel lion hearts. Talos damn their souls. Yeah. Man, who would shoot a- who would sh literally shoot the messenger? What a bastard. Can that be our new side quest that distracts from everything? We hunt down whoever shot this poor, I heard poor it was in. The, I heard it was in the midst of some conflict in some backwater town with a trio of adventurers or something. It's terrible. Oh, that well, was... So he must have been shot by the sheriff, because we didn't use that crossbow once. The who? <laughs> nothing, nothing, that absolutely was out nothing. Of character. <laughs> Are you familiar with the conflict between the Presvarians and the Lionhearts? I can't say. Uh, no, no, we're not, actually. Oh, it's a terrible conflict. Largely bloodless, but terrible indeed. It was based on an old argument. Would you like to hear my tale? I whisper, I whisper to them, What do you think, guys? Should we. Should we listen to her tale? Oh! But, I'll I mean, be honest, I don't like want to, but we probably tragic should. Tragic it be! It sounds like great context and lore, <laughs> but I don't know, man. There's like there's like six things we need to be doing here. <laughs> Given oh. I probably inadvertently started rumors about her making her child an alcoholic Someone and being who may married have... to a bum. So yeah, maybe someone who may have this is inadvertently invested in this thing may surely find it interesting to know the context <laughs> of the greater world around them. Oh! <laughs> what what is your what is your tale of woe, madam? Oh, and she like raises a hand in her head, and she leans into Jimothy, like re like resting in his arms. Oh, well, that's pretty it's difficult. Ter <laughs> it's terrible. It's yeah. a far fall. Um, <laughs> it was basically a tr it was basically a trust fall. Yeah. <laughs> the noble lord Prisverin Asteliofort righteously. Uh, had a uh, dispute with his friend, the villainous Lionheart Terracath. They were, in, they were at a bar, and, well, they were telling the other pa bar patrons about an owl bear they saw. Asteofort righteously informed the bar patrons that it was eight feet long, while the scummy, uh, twisted, conniving Lionheart boldly claimed in, in, in foolishness that the, it was a measly six feet long. And she's wiping a tear from her eye, and she's clearly distraught. We've been fighting ever since. Wow. What a stupid thing to be fighting <laughs> that's, about. That's, <laughs> so trite is a bit of an understatement, but... Um, <laughs> Lord, I've heard of rich people problems, but come on. <laughs> that being said... But and these now they're hearts. spreading rumors that my son is an alcoholic. Oh, how dare they. And that I'm sleeping with some stranger that I met in the woods. I heard those were both true. Actually, I've heard those rumors. Well, then aren't you a lion heart, she says as she kind of stands up and she scurries away. <laughs> Damn it, Palea, stop being such a fucking lion heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, the path in front of you is clear now, as you can see the open square of a seaside town's marketplace, and uh, something catches your eye. It's particularly a large crowd of people all hooting and hollering, as the sound of grunting and fists flying permeates from its center. 
Uh, Orgoloth one Ooh, runs right sparring. towards that. That sounds yeah. fun. Jimothy tag, tags behind oh, them. Oh yeah, <laughs> it, is already and, and And here, either you'll hear me saying this, or you'll hear Chris actually putting in sounds of like hooting and hollering and fighting. Um, Don't count on it. That's fair. <laughs> so you just hear that. You're welcome. That was me describing it to you. Hoot, hoot, come back ne- come back next week for more of those <laughs> um uh you uh you walk in you manage to make your way into the crowd and kind of like towards the the commotion as you see a um a shorter blue girl like a girl with blue skin with a with red and white tribal attire and short raven like white hair kicking the living snot out of what looks like to be a larger androgynous individual with inc- with an incredibly built figure long hair obscuring their face as they get slammed into the ground and yeah, the little girl lets, and the shorter girl lets out a like a very adorable roar <laughs> um someone in the uh, crowd sitting next to you uh uh Peleus, uh bumps your uh, shoulder and says uh First time seeing failing throw fists. Uh, yeah, uh, I'd say so. What, what what's going on here? As you look up to the, uh, do you look over to see who's talking to you, or just? Well, yeah, yeah. As you look up, you 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 immediately are met with the grin of a of a warm faced, um, chiseled individual. Um, it's familiar built figure and towered towers over you, rippling arms and a oh, very very it? hairy demeanor. <gasps> as you are more familiar with him by the name. Of Davos. My boy! <laughs> Davos, what are you doing here? Uh, well, as you can see, I'm here to see this kid. Oh, I thought Freaking you came incre- to pursue your dream of fishing. Oh, well, yeah, I mean, that's kind of a dream, as he looks off, like, longingly into the distance. <laughs> Davos, and I put Wait, my Wait, did I ever tell you about me. that? I don't remember telling you we about could, that. I could see, I could just see like a slideshow of memories montaging in the back of his mind. Wait, wait, wait. Is Davos the bar guy that you guys were gonna like go on? An yeah, when you were with? talking about like see, your entire family and all that's your why I don't dead. recognize him. Paleus wouldn't yeah, you, recognize him. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, um, I was trying to remember why as, I did not remember any of the context around him. Yeah, you were too busy having your feels moment. Yeah. Your dumb like character building moment while we were having fun over on the other side of the bar. Um, yeah <laughs> nerd <laughs> <laughs> no um and he looks over and he sees jimothy and organize like well kiss my ass and call me sally it's you guys what are you doing here um we're doing a lot here that's that's about it you know got stuff going around and hey if you don't want to tell me that's fine you know i i respect you know we're on a top a couple- secret mission from the crown to to broker peace between no shit. Hey, let me buy you a drink when we get back to the bar later, right? All right, I'm not going to say no to that. And pats you on the back with a very, very strong grip, like firm hand. Like the thud kind of... Just like, yeah. <laughs> Orgoloth yeah. accepts it's and appreciates it. Yeah, it's love. It's definitely oh, with love. He gets no. it. Yeah. Um, as you hear uh, the the crowd uh, begin to cheer as um, she the girl walks in, she's like, now, who y'all want to fight me next? Ooh, dibs. Wait, she's fighting unarmed, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah dibs. Yeah, definitely dibs. you. Okay. All right, so yeah, Peleus steps forward. She looks, at, she looks at you with arms crossed underneath her chest as she says, with a tilted head, aren't y'all scrawny to be uh, fighting me? I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Little bit of a skinny boy. <laughs> you want one of the meaty boys, boy. and she points to Orgoloth like, I want one of the meaty boys like that one. Oh no, you shouldn't underestimate Peleus, but maybe I'll be a warm up and he'll like crack his neck. Alright, roll initiative. Alright. Uh for whoever's fighting her. Uh I think is that just me, I guess, because like the But I'm I'm fighting unarmed, right? Is the thing. If you if you are accepting the call out, then yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you okay, got called cool. out, go for it. Uh I rolled an, only an eleven. Okay. That's <laughs> fine. She only rolled like a nine. Right. Um, so yeah, you start, um, as she kind of like, kind of motions with both hands to come at her. And I personally am imagining the, the song from Hearthstone in my mind, like the, the bar tune. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's a yeah. good tune. Yeah. Anyway. All right. So tis my turn. Yeah. Um, 
she motions at you to come closer and you hear in the back of your mind like you're gonna fight the little girl <laughs> you're so weak <laughs> you can't even beat a little girl <laughs> oh this will be rich i'm gonna say i don't know she seems like a pretty strong little girl maybe orgoloth isn't as much of a sexist pig as this voice in his mind it's not the fact that she's a girl it's the fact that she's a child even a child could beat you oh so it's an ageist voice yes yeah. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, you are literally beating up a child. Yeah, but I mean, that stands to be decided. What if the child deciding. consents? <laughs> I swear anyway. to God, we're not back on that note. Move forward with the fight. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, is this a joke that'll make it on the floor, or will it actually go in the episode? Who knows? No, that's getting cut. <laughs> yeah, that's probably getting cut. <laughs> but uh, it's a good well, laugh, though. Orgoloth is gonna cast. Uh, He's going to cast Reduce. Oh, no, actually, screw it. No, he's going to cast Enlarge on himself. Okay. That'll, that'll work better. Jesus Christ. And um, and that's it. I'm not going to, like, burn the action surge. That will just be my turn. Okay, so you literally just grew a size? Yep. She huffs as she looks at you, and she says, Oh, so y'all a cheating boy now, huh? As she dashes up to you, I need to make three deck saves. All right. <laughs> Uh, 15. Okay. Uh, 16. Okay. And 16 again. Damn. Okay. Um, as she, as you take, um, about, uh, 15 damage altogether, um, okay. just from a series of rapid blows to your chest, um, uh, before she disengages. Disengage. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so just three, tum tum tum, and then disengage. All right. Yeah. Orgoloth is gonna... And also, one other thing. Can you cast... Or can you roll for me a... Um, uh, perception? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, 12. Um, you don't know what it is, but you sense sort of a glowing sort of mystical energy from, from her. Not magical, mystical specifically. Okay. Can Peleus make a perception check? Uh, yeah, if you want. You're watching the fight. And I'm in the sun. Or investigation. Yeah. He should you... be able to, um, you know, like, call out, like, oh, yeah, it's this. go for the this. Well, okay, do you want it to be perception or investigation? You do perception again. I already said perception, so let's Perception, keep okay, so Yay. 22. Okay, um, you know, and um, this is something that also comes with the fact that you are familiar with um, uh, uh, Key. druids. Oh. Druids and key. It's a lot. It's a lot. But like basically based on your background, you can tell that there is like sort of like the um, it almost looks like there is like a, a glowing outline of a bear surround here, like a massive bear. Mm -hmm. Like you don't want to fuck with this bear. Is this bear bigger like just, than Orgoloth, than enlarged Orgoloth? Um, Peleus, you start to look up as you realize that it doesn't just stop near her. It goes all the way like 10 feet up. Huh. I'm. I'm not gonna As, say anything. I'm just gonna nod and like chuckle yeah. a bit. And... Well, if it's if it's ten feet tall, then I'm still taller than it. Okay. Yeah. No. No. But it's it's still the the but difference. But it's, it's in... a big bear. Am I the yeah. only one perceiving this bear, or is this bear now just a thing? Yes. Okay. You are the only one perceiving it. It does not seem to be uh, tangible. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Uh. Orgoloth, what are you doing? Orgoloth would like to uh, grapple. Would like to, to roll. Okay, roll for grapple. I'm just gonna lightly well, shout. That's I not gonna one, work. I got one, but I have advantage, so it's okay. Okay. All right, and this one was a twenty-five, not a mat. She beats it. Oh, does she have advantage on those two? Yep. Mm. Um. She beats it as you can almost feel like she's not even... Like, you go in for the grapple, and she just kind of holds your arms in place and just looks you dead in the eyes with, like, a very, like, kind of interested, like, grin on her face. Like, she's she's excited by this. All right. And she, she goes, y'all done? My turn now? Nope, I got another one! <laughs> okay. What are you doing? Uh, it's I'm doing the exact... I'm going to try again. It's, I got a, only got a 23 this time. So the attempt is Orgola spins exactly 180 degrees, like lightning quick, and attempts to do a shoulder throw. 
Okay. Wait, you didn't grab her, though. I'm trying to grab again. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Go for it. I got a 23. She beats it again. All right. That's it. <laughs> She's cheating, too. There's no There's no way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but she. Uh, it's not... It, you kind of are locked in contest, almost. So, like, you kind of grab her, but, like, you're stuck. Like, you can't throw her over your shoulder, nor can you move. If that makes any sense. Yeah. Well... It's it's literally two sumo wrestlers pressing against each other. No one's moving. Well, I don't know if you've seen sumo. That's not what it looks like. <laughs> no, I... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get you. Mentally, I don't know. Fuck. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you well, write the story. <laughs> that's all I got. <laughs> yeah. Um, I need you to make another deck save. Okay, just one? Yep. Uh... I got a 16 for this one. Okay, you're fine then. Oh yeah, um, my deck saves are good. And she's gonna, she's uh, she sweeps at your legs and deals uh, about another five damage. All right. Uh, back to you. All right, I'm just gonna punch her in the fucking face. Okay. Roll to punch in face. All right. So let me make sure. So what is um, but what is the default um unarmed strike do? It's like one damage. All right. Well, I guess it's probably just one d four extra then. Yeah. Just based on another weapon. All right. Well, should I just do the attack roll? I guess then. Mm hmm. Okay. Roll for attack. I don't. I think you add dex. I imagine it would probably be just whatever your like melee thing so is. On our right? strength, it's just strength yeah, melee it's... weapons. Okay. Yeah. Roll. Roll with strength. Seventeen. Uh, she dodges it. All um. Right. Well. Um, you still have extra tech, though, so... Yeah. As she just ducks under it, and you just hear that voice in the back of your mind just, like, cackling. Um... Fuck it, I'm gonna try again. Okay. Punch again. Okay. Roll for I, punch. Well, this this time it was a 22. Okay, and your punch um, socks her right in the, the, ch in the sternum. Okay. As she lets out, like, a, like a wheezing gasp. And you can see her smiling, even though she just got the wind knocked out of her. How much damage did you do? I did roll max, so I guess a four plus one, okay. I guess that's five. Yeah. So you do four damage as um, uh, she kind of stumbles back a bit, and then comes in, and uh, she's about to strike at you. And before she can even get in um, uh, a hit, uh, you all, all of you feel the round, ground start to rumble. I need everyone to roll a deck save again. My deck saves are on top. I got an 18. Okay, you're fine. I got a 22. You're also fine? <laughs> I got a 13. You are actually fine. Um, as uh, the gr as fonts of crystal clear seawater burst from the ground, townspeople are starting to flee in panic. Um, and suddenly swarms of monsters overtake the town square. Um, as in the panic, it seems that um, uh, Phalian has disappeared. Um, possibly um, attacked by monsters on her own, um, and your allies are not around. Um, and as you look for them, you see uh, a uh, uh, what look to be four insectoid-like creatures, um, their voices clicking incessantly um, as, they, as they surround you with little claws, um, and they're joined by the strange garblings of what appears to be water itself animate and come as appearing from the continuous stream that puddles at the, on the stone steps of the marketplace. I need everyone to roll for initiative. All right. I would also like to say that I should probably still have enlarge for a couple turns. Okay. Oh, nat 20 on initiative, though. I got a 14. I got a 7. So the order is going to be the um, the weird water monster things, like the gelatinous monster formations, uh, Orgoloth, Peleus, the insectoids, and then Jimothy. Um, so first, okay. the two water monsters are going to start to um, approach... Uh, Paleus, or no, Orgoloth, and um, just quickly um, uh, just kind of like wave up to him and just like, uh, one of them is going to attempt to uh, constrict him. Uh -huh. uh, uh, it does not work. It just like splashes against you, uh, but doesn't seem to be able to get a hold of you. Okay. Um, and the other one tries the same thing. Um, and it misses. Uh, 
it's it's they're clearly not able to grab you based on your size. Um, so they, they kind of failed in that attempt. Um, it is now moving immediately to Orgoloth. What are you doing? They're both in f- the both the um, the water monsters are in front of you. These like ooze masses of sorts, but they're made of just water. You can't really see anything else other than that. And and they would be almost invisible to the eye if not for them moving up past where the uh, the water puddles underneath them. So I feel like there is Jimothy will be able to deal with these much more effectively than I will. Mm-hmm. With you know lightning magic, that's my okay. assumption. So I'm gonna pr- like risk this attack of oppor- the, the double attack of opportunity since they seem like they had trouble, and mm-hmm. kind of try and run over to one of the insect-like ones. Okay, so two attacks of opportunity. It's gonna be um, one hits, and okay. the other one misses. The first one that hits is gonna deal. 12 damage, okay. uh, uh, bludgeoning damage as it slams against your backside as you try to escape, you know, kind of catching you off guard. Okay. Um, but it is still not able to grab you. Um, and you're going to go towards the one of the insectoids? Yeah. Yeah. And by the way, guys, if you want to roll any sort of nature or anything on these guys, you can. Um, just let me know when and where. Orgoloth oh, that'll be already okay. in fighting mood. Okay. Um, Orgoloth, what are you doing to this uh, insectoid? It's going to be, uh, we'll say this one's the bottom left. All right, I'm going to, without breaking stride, just kind of go for an underhand swing right up, just a normal attack. Okay, so you bring out your sword, and you're going to go in with an underhand swing. And I rolled a... What's that? 22. 22 you hit. attack. All right. You absolutely hit. As um, you swing up, and you and you, your sword cuts into its um, uh, exoskeleton. Um, as you hear the clicking um, erratically start to, you know, start up again. All right. And it was 16 More. damage. Okay. Because I added the extra D4 from being big. Okay, cool. Uh, you did a pretty significant amount of damage to it. It seemed like it was actually really... Uh, some blood is coming out of that wound. It seems to be kind of, like, weird and green in its origin. Um, as opposed to, you know, more normal blood colors from mortal species. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to keep going on him, like for my okay. second attack. Yeah, so go for I'll it. Twist Absolutely. it around, kind of flick of the wrist, do another uh, underhand and upswing again. Okay, just kind of like woo woo, like a windmill oh, of sorts. This time I only rolled an eleven. Yeah, no, sorry, that kind of misses. It, it, it kind of smacks away your your swing with one of its claws and just clicks at you in its weird, strange tongue. Um, First hit, you're was not even good. sure if That's it ha- okay. you're not. You're not even sure if it has a tongue. Anyway, uh, Paleus, what are you doing? Uh, how many bug guys are there? Four. Four. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna grab what I'm gonna go at one of whatever ones he's not fighting. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, oh shoot, I okay. So Paleus is gonna reach back for his staff. Remember that it's not there and is in fact <laughs> still in the capital city. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and go ahead and just start. Beating the ever-loving shit out of one of these bugs. Okay, which one? Bottom uh, left, top left, bottom right, top right. Uh, top left, we'll say. Okay, so you dash past Pale- uh, Orgoloth towards the one that's top left. You don't provoke an act of opportunity or anything. That's not the issue. Um, the uh, the watery beings seem to be a little bit um, in the, in between the two top ones. So they are out of range for you to be attacked just now, but they could move in. Okay. Um, just kind of let you know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so you move up to this top. What are you doing? Tell All me right. about uh, how you're handling it. Well, I'm just gonna I'm gonna run up and just full on just like try and punch this guy uh, straight in the head. Like just try and down okay. him in one go. Uh, roll for big punch. Roll for big punch. Uh, roll twenty two. You hit. Yeah. Hit. Well, how much damage does big punch do? Big punch. Does six damage. Nah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you do pretty significant amount of damage as you kind of feel its um, uh, plating kind of crunch a bit against your fist. All right. So um, as the momentum mm-hmm. carries around from that punch, I'm going to immediately bring up my left leg and go for a kick to his skull now. Okay. So you go for its its weird sort of. It doesn't have a skull per se like most creatures. Exo-skull. It kind of has like a weird like centipede esque body. Oh. Okay. So. Well, so you kind of I kick the top part is. where its, its eyes and stuff are. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, it's, oh, I now you won do? it. Okay, time <laughs> to bring out the table. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> uh, roll a d10. Uh, actually, I know I do this. I think. Actually, no, you roll a d10. I'll let you do it. Choose your fate. Five. Uh, you somehow swing your leg so far around, you accidentally kick uh, uh, Jimothy in the face. Uh, Is he over You here? have to roll for Ow. damage now. <laughs> Is Jimothy over I mean, here? <laughs> considering I've taken almost as much damage from Jimothy as I have from just enemies in this campaign, <laughs> I think he'll live. Uh, can you roll for damage for me and divide it by two? Uh, rounding down. Divide it by two, then he takes four damage. Round- okay. Yeah. As you kind of like swing around, you're like, oh shit, and you hit him in the face, and it's like, sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah. Can I still take a bonus action? Yeah, I don't see why not. All right, going for another punch. <laughs> All right, go for another punch. Because you turn around and you're like, detour. you, I'm going to get you now. <laughs> Out. This is how I treat my friends. You don't want to see how I treat my enemies. <laughs> uh, so that one got 18. Does 18 hit? Yeah, absolutely. Roll for damage. Eight damage. Okay, as you bring your fist up and down, crashing on its head, yeah. just pushing it into the earth, um, as it takes a significant blow. Um, but it is still standing. Uh, is that the end of your turn? Yeah. Wait. Wait, no. Wait. Wait, 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 no. Waits. Wait. Waiting. Uh, what am I waiting for? I, I want to remember to do this this thing. Uh, so I'm going to roll for a, a stunning strike on him. When I hit okay. another creature with a melee weapon attack, or unarmed in this case, uh, you can spend one key point to attempt a stunning strike. The target must succeed a constitution saving throw or be stunned until the end of my next turn. You don't have to use a bonus action for that, right? Uh, no. No, that's just a thing I can okay. like, add to an attack. Uh, okay, cool. Yeah, then uh, do it. Yeah, he's saving against 14. Uh, 14, and what is it? Dex or con? Constitution. Okay. Uh, con? He doesn't make it. Woo! Just really doesn't make it. Um, sorry, I was doing the math. And, uh, yeah, so he's kind of stunned in front of you. I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly how that works, uh, uh, but um, I'll pull I up assume he can't attack next turn, so that's all that matters. He can't do anything his next turn, yep. so, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, so, uh, the, the insectoids start attacking, um, specifically starting with the one that was attacking Orgoloth, uh, or, or that Orgoloth attacked initially, um, as it goes in with one of its... Um, uh, it, it goes in for a bite really quick with its mandibles and it misses all right oh can i repost it uh i assume so cool yes i can so yeah well i definitely didn't hit so (laughs) i'm sorry that's all right Um, (laughs) as it tries to go for a bite and you kind of sense where it's gonna go so you kind of aim with the fist to kind of like counter strike it but your fist goes over its head because it actually goes a little weirdly quick its movements are kind of strange like that, and you're not used to fighting this sort of thing. So. It's like weird and jerky. Yeah, it's like, oh, what the fuck? <laughs> it's like Jimothy, but fast. Uh, <laughs> not too fast, I'm too- <laughs> I assume he's not that fast. Jimothy, he's got plus two decks. But he has <laughs> the lowest walking speed of all of us, I believe. This is true. No, he's not, uh, because he's got those, uh, he's got 30 because of those, his light up sneakers. Okay, so he's tied with Orgoloth and slower than Peleus. Well, that's because Peleus is a monk. Yeah, he's well, a crazy he points I'm faster than a horse. He can, he can run at the speed of a cheetah, and it's like no big deal for him. I don't know if that's true. There's I, probably I actually cheetah. There's but... probably actually cheetah stats in this game, and I don't want to assume. I know <laughs> that like, I'm faster than a horse, so. That is really fucking fast. Yeah, that that's is scary fast. That is fast for, <laughs> yeah. for a people. <laughs> <laughs> just, just like, nah, keep your shitty horse. Keep Seabiscuit. I got this. And <laughs> just I just, runs. I want to throw this in there. Canonically, when Peleus is going full speed, he's absolutely Naruto running. Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, so you're going to lose inspiration every time that happens. Yes. So you have to spend inspiration to sprint. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> As the audience starts to fall out of love with your character, <laughs> or more in love, depending on who the audience. People so privately hope- in their homes where no one can hear them start booing. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! 
turns off the podcast. Um, as a uh, God, what was going on? Um, the <laughs> It's the thing you never want to hear your DM save as a joke. <laughs> um, <laughs> as the two that were kind of largely ignored for the rest of this fight uh, kind of scurry up over to the big one, which is, in this case, Orgoloth, as they start to bite at his ankles. And I don't mean literally bite at his ankles, but you get the idea. Um, as the first one goes in, and it hits, and oh. I need, with its with its snappy jaws, it need I need you to make a deck save. Or a, a save against grappling. Okay, that'll be athletics for me then. Yeah. Whoops. Oh, well, it's a 22. Okay, then you're fine. Um, but you are still taking uh, 10 damage. And uh, so, three acid damage. As you feel, it's acidy, acidy spit real, start to leak real, all over your... Quick hmm? question. Did he make an attack for free and then I had to resist the grapple? Or no, did no he... His, he bites you. And with his bite, he can also, like, cling on. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, yeah, and he made yeah. me roll higher than an 18. With the... he, his mouth has two purposes. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, but yeah, so <laughs> wink, acid wink. Also, also acid kind of leaks out, and you take, like like I said, another three damage. Phew. Oh. Well, I'm not which doing is pretty hot. Which is pretty gross. The next one comes in and starts nipping at you, uh, but he misses because he's a silly boy, um, and he just kind of, like, spits some acid up into the pool of water below, and it kind of dilutes enough that it doesn't do any damage. Um, to anyone. Uh, but yeah, that's that's gonna be it. Jimothy, it is now your turn. You are seeing um, Orgoloth kind of being bit up by bugs. So as a Floridian, you kind of know what that looks like. Uh, um, <laughs> and you're seeing... Wait, is everything fighting Orgoloth right now? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean... No, the water all... weirds are not. Oh, the, okay. The, 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 the gooey things aren't. They're just hanging out. The weird water, and you know what interacts in a very particular way with water lightning <clears throat> rocks fire mudslides yeah exactly well okay so jimothy's probably just jimothy is going to cast lightning onto those uh call lightning onto those water weirds oh yeah i feel like you've been waiting to do that for like eight episodes i mean i've cast lightning a couple times now but now we're actually outside um Oh, wasn't it when I peed on you? Wasn't that, like, the one time? Uh, no, I also did it last episode with, um, the hammer. Yeah, true. But yeah, so I'm gonna cast, uh, Call Lightning on them, and they have to make a deck save, I think. Okay. I just wanna make sure something didn't happen. There was a a possibly extra effect that could have happened. But yeah, Call Lightning, so... Uh, as the storms start to swirl and form into this vortex of clouds and lightning, the rumbling of thunder as the gods themselves seem to beckon to your call as um, you lift your your little your little mallet. <laughs> um, <laughs> hang on, hang on a second. Jimothy, yeah, Jimothy does like he he holds up his hammer and like swings it around as like the clouds yeah, yeah. come around. Yeah, yeah. But and then and then like and he gives one final like really wide um, circular swing around him and he slams it on the ground. Okay, as it splishes in the water because there's water everywhere, um, and every uh, so you're shooting it at the two water thingies. Yeah, water okay. thingies. As they are going to be taking, oh, they have to make what's the deck save again? They have to beat a 14. They beat it. Oh. Well, they take half of... 3d10. So. All right. I I, I did uh, 13 damage with that. But doing it with water does not... So 13 damage with the reduction? No. Oh, so... So it would be six damage, I guess. Okay. So they both take six damage as they kind of go... And they kind of get shocked a bit as the electricity kind of crackles through them. Um, So I I looked into it. And uh, just, I guess, a fun fact. uh, The... It's weird because you think that it would be there would be an effect on water, specifically. Yeah, I think that's because um, Pokemon trained us. Well, no, no, no. There, I mean, in general, usually magical things do have some sort of effect when it goes like water and lightning. It's a pretty common trope. Um, in the case of this scenario, though, and these beings, One sec, and in the case of water in general, like if you were to cast lightning on an ocean or a, a lake or something, it doesn't necessarily affect th- uh, things the same way that regular lightning would. So, oh, magic lightning. Dang. No, no, it's fine though. It was a good idea. Um, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna give you two extra bonus damage because that was fucking. Co- that was a good idea. All right. You know okay. what? Okay. You know what? No, I'll do the better thing. Get an inspiration point. Let's just do it that way. So it's not cheating. 
Boy, I really am racking up the inspiration. Yeah, because you're being your character for once. I'm kidding. No, that was really mean. Please cut that out <laughs> or leave it oh, in no. for the funny joke. Every, everyone has to know <laughs> I'm a meanie. Just like a leaked footage of me just like fucking idiot, you stupid. And it's just me yelling at like, I don't know, a, 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 a die. <laughs> but yeah, uh, is that it for you, Jimothy? Um, no, nah, as a bonus action, I'm going to cast um, I'm going to twirl my hammer around and get the get that storm guard. Okay, um, can you roll a d6 going. for me? Yep, I rolled a two. Uh, two, nothing happens. Ah, okay. As you go, Storming Guard, and it's like, bzz. yeah. <laughs> you get like a low battery notification. Wait, no, you hear you hear the thunder rumble, just like <laughs> a lightning bolt killed somebody else, like two hundred miles it's away. Like sh- you hear a sheep screaming in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> is that it for your turn? Making sure. Yes. Okay. Yes, so that is it. More cool. For my turn. So the uh, they're 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 these boys are mad. Well, they're probably mad. You can't see. They don't have faces, so you don't know if they're mad. Um, if they had arms, they'd probably be sternly crossed right about now, like, hey, that was a very nice, as they're gonna kind of slither up towards you, uh, oh, like no. they do, and they're gonna start slapping you in the face with water, as... <laughs> they do. Yeah, so the first one goes, and, oh my god, <laughs> in that 20s, <laughs> um, the second one does not do as well. Um, so, first one's doing, uh... The first one's doing 30 damage with that crit. Christ. Oh, wowza. <laughs> um, so when he hits me with that, uh, I'm going to cast Wrath of the Storm. Okay. So he has to make another deck save. Okay. He fails it. That's a, okay. Um, I, hang on, I'm trying to find the actual... Oh, yeah. It's uh, 2d8 um, lightning damage, but I'm just going to make it... Uh, I'm going to use my channel divinity to make it max damage so 16 damage okay as it takes a significant amount of lightning damage as yeah um but it's uh you're gonna need to make a grapple save for me as well oh boy as it like still is trying to constrain you so that's either acrobatics or athletics whichever is higher yep. okay so i got a um 16 okay so you're uh, as it tries to grab you you do your storm surge and it kind of like wards it off from grabbing you um uh, but it, it kind of did a, a, a pretty significant amount of work anyway. So we are back to uh, Orgoloth, right? Yeah. yeah, I think so. Cool. What are you doing, Orgoloth? I'm going to smack that thing that I was smacking before. Okay, so you're smacking the same uh, uh, just spooky bug man. Spooky bug man. Fuck him up. Uh, as a uh, roll for smack. All right, and I guess we'll do... I'm going to try and stick... Shove my sword, like, straight down at him. Oh, John, like, geez. I mean, he's, like, right below me. I want to go for this kill and blow. Do it. Kill that blow. I mean, uh... Uh, I got a 19. I'm not, okay, roll for damage. I'm trying to, like, interpret how kill what kill that blow can mean. I guess, like, Finn is off the cocaine, maybe? Yeah, that was the idea. And that was I was implying that I was doing drugs... And then I was trying to hide that I was doing drugs. I have a problem. I got 14 on the first hit. Okay, as you slice, you just like shunk your sword right into its head and it just dies. Excellent. Because <laughs> you hit its brain. Are there Hooray. any that are close enough At to least... me to be in melee range? Uh, Yeah, there's like three on you. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know if they were like right there. They are all around you. All right, I'm going to then for a second. Wait, I think just... there's... Was there one that wasn't on you? No, they all moved in. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to attack just... Actually, is the one that Paleus damaged close to me? Wait, no. That's the one that's not close to you. Thank okay. you for reminding me. I apologize. So okay. Paleus is fighting one that was on the top left. The other two came around to fight the you. The other two. Okay. I'm going to attack one of them. I guess if okay. you want to remember which one. Just Yeah, yeah I, I absolutely have that in mind. Okay. So roll for damage or roll for attack. Uh, 17. As you just like cleave across its ar- your its like its body, and you just see like limbs, like little tiny like spidery limbs, just like fly up with like spurts of blood as it like it like hisses out with clicks and acid. Um, roll for damage. Watch that be a two. Yeah. 
<laughs> wow, one damage. It's like <laughs> he didn't need those limbs. Oh, this is the, like the worst damage roll I've had so far at just a seven. All right, well, he didn't need those limbs. <laughs> um, I, mean, I cut off seven of his hundred limbs, maybe. Yeah, it's a little spindly limbs. Um, as uh, I, is there anything else that you're able to do for this turn? I think you have a bonus action left. I. Uh, yeah, I'm actually going to go ahead and use my um, second wind. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> for a heal. How much are you healing for? Eight. Okay, so you're back up to like 30 health. That's yep, good. Exactly. Um, as Peleus, it is now back to you. Okay. Um, There's one in front of you. There are two water weirds just beating the crap out of Jimothy. Um, and he's shocking them. It looks like they're in a little tussle. They're all evenly sized, which is also kind of funny. Is there still electricity yeah. crackling through these water weirds? No. Oh, damn it. Um, Were you going to eat the lightning? No, I had a good idea. Were you going to ride the lightning? I had a cool idea that would have been awesome, but never mind. What was your, tell me your idea. Uh, well, he automatically fails strength saving throws, so I was just going to straight fist to the unbroken air of this guy into those water guys. Oh. Uh, I mean, you can still just do it. Yeah, I mean, I'm, Sorry, st I'd... I'm still going to do it either way. It's just not going to be as fun. And uh, Jimothy could probably do a, whatchamacallit, um, Thunder Wave if they're all near each other. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to fist of unbroken air, this guy right in front of okay. me. Okay. So he's going to. He fails it? Yeah, he automatically fails it. Okay. Uh, so 3d10 damage. Uh, he takes 22 damage and is thrown 20 feet and knocked prone. You have six key left, correct? Uh, that would have been or two. Five. I have five left. So five. Okay. So he's knocked six feet back, knocked prone. Okay. Um, and how much, uh, how much damage has he taken? I, I said he takes 22 damage. Damn. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> he's, now, uh, I want to make it clear. I'm aiming him at those water guys. <laughs> right. Yeah. He falls in front of them. Oh, uh, what? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, but the acid does seem to hurt them. Because um, you... D l um, let me describe... So you... It left your vicinity as a bug thing. It reached them as a crippled bug thing. Um, as it seems to be on death's door and is coughing up absurd amounts of acid. Uh, Jimothy, you managed to kind of like dodge around it without getting too much damage, but the water weirds seem to kind of singe a bit as they take a little bit of damage from the uh, acid. That makes sense. Because it's acid. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> acid. Oh, man. Uh, they don't like it. And with that, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to... Okay, so there's three bug guys on, on uh, Orgoloth right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna make my way over no, to him. No, there's two left. There's, there's oh, the, hang on. One of them is dead. Um, oh, one is there's dead. A, okay. It's still attached to his sword a bit, which is funny. Like he's kind of swinging Can around. Can my like sword get plus three acid damage or something now? <laughs> if you also want to be taking acid damage from the splishing of its blood, hmm. get which, back to me on that. <laughs> well, <if there's... laughs> just like the ideas. <laughs> Fear me <laughs> as your face is melting. <laughs> if there's a splish splash of acid going on over there, I'm gonna go over to Jimothy and just I'm gonna hang just out there slosh, and slosh, ready. slosh, slosh. Well, the, the okay, so the area is flooded right now. I hope you guys know, like right. it's it's ankle deep. Okay. Right, well, I guess that's half foot deep for Orgo. <laughs> this is true. You're not that big. You're like 10 feet tall. No, I'm literally doubled in size. I'd be 12 foot four. Oh, God. I'm pretty sure I can move through rough terrain just fine. So. No, you're fine. It's not going to be an issue. It's They're they're close enough that like it wouldn't be uh, uh, an issue of, uh, of distance. I just wanted to let you know. One thing to remember, babies can drown in... The, the shallowest of water so Jim is watch out he's he's I think he's about like waist deep or like <laughs> midsection deep so he's this is actual uh, rough terrain for Jimothy uh, <laughs> yeah okay, okay so I'm going over there. yeah I'm going over to okay. hang out by Jimothy I can't do anything else but uh I'll hang out here okay you just like say like hey Jimothy what's going on and he's like help me <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, he's not drowning yet. They may, they yeah. failed the grapple. <laughs> True. <laughs> Which spoilers? They will be trying to drown you during. <laughs> uh, that was a fucked up. Like, I mean, if they spoiler. take him underwater, we wouldn't know where he is because we wouldn't be able to see any of them. Um. So the uh, the insect looks up and sees Paleus kind of nearing towards it, and it freaks out, thinking that he's gonna come in to try to like seal the deal as um, it sits, spits out a huge spray of acid in a line that is um, 30 feet long and 5 feet wide um, so it is going to reach not just um, uh, uh, it's not going to just shoot at you but it's also going to shoot past you towards Orgoloth and hit him in and try to hit him in the tush am I taking um, a deck save is a deck save yeah, yeah. okay well I've ne- I don't, I'm pretty good at those so 17. Okay, you're fine then. Mine was a Orgola. 9. You are not fine. Um, <laughs> you're welcome. I mean, f- for once, me taking damage wasn't one of your faults, so... You were taking 7 da- acid damage if you uh, made it, or if you failed it, and you take um, 3 if you, ma- if you made the save. Not me. So. Evasion. When I succeed uh, deck saving throws, I don't take any damage, and when I fail them, I take half. This is true. Yes. So I just nice. kind of flip right out, uh, out of the way of that and keep strolling over to Bug Thing, who I imagine is losing just... his mind right now. <laughs> <laughs> just like, no! <laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> um, as uh, the other two are just kind of like... They kind of see the acid, and they're like, grouse. <laughs> as uh, they start, they continue to nip at Orgolasa. Uh, Toesies and stuff, mm. legs and things. Uh, the first one uh, gets an 18. Does that hit? Uh, that ties. So house rules. Okay. Are they both tie, or they both miss them. So unfortunately, one of them t- uh, gnaws at your armor, just you're like, nah, 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 and the other one just kind of misses entirely. Oh, really? um, it is back to Jimothy. What are you doing? All right. Uh, how much health does everybody have? Uh, I, I 20 for you, 30 for Orgoloth, and no, 50 for Paleus. No, I'm at 23 now, because I just took the acid damage. Oh, yeah. Uh, 58 for Paleus. And... But if you're feeling prayer of healing, I don't think it's a bad idea. Oh, no, I was going to do I was gonna do a prayer of healing. Yeah, yeah. that's the one. The cleric. <clears throat> that, the, that, that thing that I'm, like, supposed to be doing, you know... <laughs> It's not super important. Don't worry about it. Never mind. I'm just gonna do. I'll just. Uh, Damn it! Yeah, I'll, I'll, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll I'll do um, prayer of healing. Okay. How much? Uh, Which I think I think is two d eight plus my spell modifier. Okay. So that's eight and three. So eleven plus uh six so 17 17 health to you and then what about your party? everybody oh all, okay. all all three of us jeez so you're back to 37 Paleus. Nice. you you just kind of get like a warm brace as like it just kind of fucks off cuz ah. you're fine <laughs> uh so orgleth you are up to 40 i believe now yes i am cool okay um oh no 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 jimothy's healing isn't like calm like green like magic coming over oh i imagine yellowy actually it's like it's more like it's more like a light it's like light blue lightning bolts spark out of him and get it it's like you touch a thing that has static electricity on it and you get a little zap but then you get more health so orgoloth you feel a lot better paleos all you get is a little tickle on your bum and uh (laughs) jimothy you know what's happening so you're fine (laughs) yeah (laughs) so do you jimothy just kind of did a little prank in the middle of the fight (laughs) And he looks at you like, yeah, <laughs> like you're good now, right? And it's like, I give him a thumbs up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's just a prank, bro. So it's the water weenie's turn now. Yeah, sorry, I was responding to a message. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the uh, water weenies, as yes. you put it. Yeah. Um, and they're splish splash and taking a bath because they are the bath. And it is well. It is not a sat- water it is not a Saturday night, but it is time to kick your ass. Um, as they are going to attack, uh, one is going to attack Paleus, and the other one's going to attack Jimothy. First one attacking Paleus, going to go crit. Second one attacking Jimothy is hitting. Um, that's did not make that up. Oh, dang. So crit is going to be fine. Wait, so you did? So wait, it crit me again? No, no, it's critting Paleus. 
Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, you're That's also fine. both going to need to make uh, grapple saves for me really quick. Oh. Um, oh, I've been reading this wrong, by the way. Oh. Uh, these guys usually auto grapple, but since I've already been reading it like this, I'll just leave it as is. Okay, cool. Interesting enough. 17. Um, so it's like they grapple and then you make the escape your next turn. Oh. Man. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of bullshit. Anyway, whatever. Fix it. That's like, yeah, it just automatically eats up a turn. Do they auto grapple when they succeed on the attack? Yep. Okay. Uh, Paleys, you're taking 26 damage. Um, and, uh, Jimothy, you are taking. Uh, 8 damage. Okay. Uh, um, so. I'm going to go ahead and finish off this bug right here and right now and trigger Molten one. By the way, they are pulling you a little bit closer in as they do hit you because they like to have you close by. That's good. I trigger Molten one. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. <laughs> just... Okay. <laughs> uh... Do we just get also like a smoke screen? Because there's going to be a lot of steam. Oh, yeah. And that'll be water. fun for the fact that I can hide in steam. Oh, man. Uh, so, your reaction skin erupts in a sea of flames. Uh, anyone within 10 feet, that is Jimothy, your, um, the two water weirds. And that dying and bug. It. And the dying bug. <laughs> uh, makes a deck save at, or be burned horribly. What's the deck save? Uh, would it just be against it's, my spell? Your spell modifier, yes. Uh, so 14. Okay. So, uh, uh waters are dismiss. They fail. And the um, bug is going to fail because he's prone still. Um, so all that failed. Uh, how much anyone uh, each round, anyone within five feet must make another deck save or suffer 1d6 fire damage. OK. And are they taking 1d6 from the trigger then too? They're taking 1d8 from the flame from the trigger and they're not. But they're and every other and every following round, they'll be taking 1d6. Oh, Stuart, make your deck save, by the way. Sorry about that. Oh, okay. It's uh, four damage is what they're all going to take. I, I rolled a ten. Uh, you did not. You also so take everyone four failed. damage. <laughs> so nobody was expecting Peleus to do this. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, nope. fuck it. <laughs> I mean, he basically just did like a big ass heat wave. Yeah, everything is obscured, by the way, as the steam starts to permeate. Uh, everyone gets disadvantage on attack rolls um, for the, the time being. Um, and uh, Peleus, you can't really see how the, the water uh, beings are reacting to the um. Uh, how do you call it? the the attack? But um, it doesn't do as much as you thought it might have. Um. Then uh, that's it for that. So are you gonna? Is there anything else you want to do? Or no, that's the end of their turn. So Orgola, it's back to you. All right. So I just have the two bugs next to me, right? And am I still in the steam cloud? Am I close enough to be affected by the steam disadvantage stuff, or is am I uh, largely outside of the smoke screen? You are outside of the smoke screen, um, so it's like you just see steam, and everyone basically disappears. That's in that group. Okay, so just me and um, these bugs. Yeah, just they're gnawing at you. All right, I'm gonna just go ahead and do an attack roll. I'm gonna try and do the same, like try and plunge my sword into the one that's already somewhat damaged. Okay, so you are attacking. And I got a 25, so... <laughs> yeah, you, you definitely hit. Uh, roll four damage. Uh, 12. Uh, okay, so you do a significant amount of damage to its health as um, you cut off uh, a couple more of its little, like, scraggly limbs. And it's uh, getting to the point where it's kind of like drooling a bit of acid from its mouth, not like um, like it would normally like salivating. It's, it looks like it's in pain and it's like coughing up blood. All right, I'm going to try again, like this time lift the sword as high in the air as I possibly can and slam it down with as much force as Orgoloth can muster. Okay. So you raise Orgoloth Jr. high into the air and mightily bring him down. Roll for attack. And I rolled a 15. And a 15 hits, because okay. these things cannot move very fast. All the time. Anyway. You bring your sword down. How much damage are you doing, buddy? 11. As you do 11 damage to this thing, it is... It is, somewhat stumbles as it stays up, but just barely. As it has... It is hanging on death's door, similarly to the one that uh, uh, Peleus was beating on earlier. 
Um, and it looks um, almost like even if it wanted to, it couldn't get away at this point. I would um, like to action surge then. Okay. And uh, I'm actually going to do a um, uh, sweeping attack okay. on the other one. Not the one that's almost dead. I'm going to sweeping attack on the other one, which is just a normal attack roll on that. And um, like just a normal attack on that, and then I can do 1d8 to the adjacent one. If the attack lands, then would hit. Okay, go for it. But the second one doesn't take the full attack. It just takes one. It just takes the superiority dice. Die. Okay, cool. And that makes I, sense. I rolled a twenty-two to attack. You hit. So roll for damage for both. All right. The first one takes thirteen damage. Okay. As you cleave its head clean off, as it flies into the mist, and then well, just I was gonna the... say not the that's not the one that's almost dead. The one that isn't okay. almost dead takes thirteen damage, and then the one that was almost dead takes five. Okay, the uh, so you strike at the one that seemed relatively okay, and it takes a significant amount of damage. Just a large cleave across its chest as you hit the uh, other one next to it, and it's st- it seems to still be breathing, ah, uh, barely. Shucks. Okay, as uh. Uh, I'm guessing at the end of your turn, yes. so Paleus, it is now your turn. All what right. are you doing? So you are covered in mist. You can barely see Timothy at your side and the enemies in front of you. It doesn't make it any better that everything is water, um, and so they are even more obscured than you would like. But thankfully, you can usually see in sort of these conditions, so it's not as bad. You are still at disadvantage because this is not smoke. This is uh, steam. But I do know where they are. I just don't have a great like look at them. Right. Okay. You're gonna get a disadvantage on attacks. Cool. But you you don't need to like, you don't need, I don't need to like make you roll for directions or anything like that. You know what I mean? Radical. I'm not gonna do an attack uh, roll. I'm gonna go ahead. Remember, and... they bring you in real close. Yep. Uh, two birds, one stone here. Are gonna deal with uh, a chunk of the steam and hopefully one of these water weirds. Uh, and fist of the unbroken air, whichever one is like most visible and immediately in front of me. That's the one that was attacking you uh, earlier that critted on you. All right, yep, gonna fist of unbroken air him. Okay, as, uh, yeah, uh, I took the roll a save for that? Uh, yeah, it's a strength save against 14. Uh, he fails. All right, so, fun. He's gonna, and I'm gonna, go ahead and actually, I am gonna dump an extra key into that, so it'll be four key, I think, I'm spending on this. Hang on. Where did it go? You're spending... F- uh, I'm spending three. So you're key. spending three key yeah. on this. So I'll still have two key. Because it's two key for the person they broke an air, right? Yeah. And then one extra. Yeah. So, so he'll take. Or are you spending two extra key? No, I'm spending one extra key. So I'll be spending three key total. Um, okay. Cool. Uh, just want to just want to make sure. Four d10 damage. So he takes 27 damage, uh, gets thrown 20 feet and knocked prone, but I'm kind of hoping this just dissipates his whole water form. Um, you kind of strike it, and you manage to knock it out of the the water, and that kind of makes it disappear entirely. Uh, as the steam kind of blows away around you. Uh, Orgoloth, in your back, you feel a hot mist of steam just kind of rush past you um, as the air is cleared. Uh, Do my and you're left with just opened? A little bit, but you have a lot of armor on, and you wish, like, in this moment you didn't have all that much armor on, so you could have, yeah. you know, appreciated it. Um, can, can we just talk for a second about probably how, because uh, this is my own feeling at this point, how almost godly Paleus feels at this moment? <laughs> <laughs> because this is the most successful he's been with the elements in a while. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You were like, and yeah, ha- you just need some... Actually, yeah, you're like, in, you in like literal contrast with seconds ago where you just hurt your friend <laughs> yeah. and blinded him with hot steam. <laughs> yeah, this is some Avatar State shit. Uh, anyway, so yeah, he's gone. Uh, and then there's one left in front of you. Yeah, but that was that wasn't an attack. Uh, well, do I have to take a first attack to take se- extra attack? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whenever you take the uh, attack action. Uh yeah, so I think that's it for your turn. Uh, yes, that's 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 it for my turn. Okay, um, so the the one that is at your your feet, the one that is currently dying slowly, uh, crawls back to a standing position and then bites at you. But does he first die of all the fire that I am? Oh yeah, what's the uh, roll for me for damage? That was the sentence. <laughs> Six damage. 
Oh, he dies. <laughs> My he's goes, he's like, I, he's like kills him. I will return. And then, ah! <laughs> Z like just fizzles away into nothingness. <laughs> As you are left with nothing in front of you except for the one watery monster thing. Um, and uh, the next two are going to be attacking um, Orgoloth because they are next to him. And they're going to nip nap at him. First one nip naps does pretty well. Second one also nip naps pretty well, so they both nip nap you. Uh, but unfortunately, you're still too big for them to actually uh, grab you at all. Yeah. Um, so you are taking uh, a total of uh, 15 damage. Alrighty. Um, actually, wait, no. Uh, you are grappled. Really? All right. By both of them. Okay. Yep. I mean, I wasn't gonna go anywhere, so yeah. Until they but decide they, they, to they shove sink, me prone, they, they sink in. <laughs> anyway, wait. So these ones auto grapple? If that wasn't the water ones? They actually both. Oh, okay. It's very yeah. I don't know why. I somehow chose the two things that auto grapple. Yeah. All right. Anyway, uh, but yeah, that's all they're gonna get is like I guess advantage on attacks, but. Um, Jimothy, what are you doing? Hmm. Uh, what's the enemy closest to me right now? Orgoloth. I'm kidding, it's Peleus. I'm just gonna call lightning on Peleus then. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a water weird in front of you. Yeah, I'm gonna back up a little bit and fire it, fi- pull up my fingers and fire out a gold- guiding bolt at the water weird. Okay, you're gonna provoke an attack of opportunity by pulling back. Oh, I didn't realize it was that close to me. Okay, yeah. uh, actually, I'm just gonna swing, um... Oh, I'm, I'm gonna pull out Colonel Mustard and swing at, cur- swing at it with Colonel Mustard. Okay. Uh, roll for attack. Alright, I got a 17. Okay, you hit, roll for damage. Okay. It's like the first time anyone's actually, like, just punched one of these things. Yeah, I did, uh, 10 damage. Alright, um, your sword goes through a little easily as you think that you might have done less damage than you hoped. But that it was seems, what I was. Yeah, it seems <laughs> to have been somewhat effective. Uh, Orgola, no. Uh, the is that the end of your turn? Go first, um, yeah. I want to make yeah, sure. Yeah, that'll be that'll be it. Yeah. Okay, be it. and it's gonna attack back at you with slaps, and it doesn't do very well because it was hurt by you slashing it in half, and it was trying to like reform itself, and so it just kind of like misses. Uh, Orgoloth, back to you. All right, uh, I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I did at the beginning of or the end of that last turn, which is to normal attack and then add sweeping. So on the one that is more okay, I'm just gonna do normal attack. Okay. And that's a 22 again. I'm rolling very weirdly consistently, but yeah, 22 roll f- to hit. Roll for damage. Oh man, 16. Okay, so you cleave through this thing. And then um, um, on the uh, 1d8 of damage to the one that was very near death. Okay, so pop, pop, both their heads fly off as you slash across and kill both of them immediately. Okay, was the other one at five or less health? Yep. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, the only thing left is this water water monster. Um, yeah, okay. Paleus, what are you doing? I'm about to kill him. Oh, uh, can I run over to it at the end of my turn? It probably doesn't matter. Yeah, sure, if you want to hang out. You know, actually, I'm going to stand back in case, because I don't want to get too close to Paleus. Fuck it. I, I'm just going to end my turn. <laughs> this right. is true. Oh, oh wait, actually, a roll uh, for Jim... Roll for Jimothy and for the Water Weird. Yeah, both of you. For both taking damage. For both taking six damage. Okay. Great. Uh, Uh, great. It seems to be doing okay with the damage. Uh, But yeah, Jimothy, you're taking six. I'm at 19 health. You're welcome. Oh, wow. (laughs) You're so welcome. Um, (laughs) (laughs) I'm helping. (laughs) I'm going to go ahead and start punching this, uh, this Water Weird right in front of me. Okay, roll for attack. Uh, 22. Okay, roll for damage. Uh, 6 damage. As you punch through where its face would be, and it just dissipates around you. Was it just, it that is was dead. It? Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just... <push. laughs> yeah, that's it. go Paleos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did it. As you see a very panicked uh, Naira uh, start to run up to you guys... And it's just like, yeah. wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on. I am on fire. 
<laughs> and you see her run up. She's like, "Oh, fuck this!" <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> just I'm gonna... stops short. Can I? And uh, is molten is molten one something I can willfully dispel? Uh, yes. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm definitely doing that then. <laughs> <laughs> he just like, turns that off like immediately. Um, as uh, runs up and casts uh, a prayer of healing on you guys, and you guys are getting back 15 health each. Okay. All right. How much health do you guys have, just for clarification? I have 47. Now. 34. Um, 55, I think, for you, Orgoth? No, definitely not. Um, oh, I'm at, at? 39. 39? Jesus. And Paleus yeah, is still the healthiest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're still completely fine. As uh, she says, I, I, I gotta go. I have to help other people. There were a lot of attacks. I, I Sorry, I just I want to make sure you guys are okay. Um, make sure nothing else comes out of the ocean. As uh, she kind of panics and runs off. And that's it. Like, that's the lot. Like, you don't see anyone else from your group. Um, uh, give me one second to get back to where I was. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah we had the prince with us. <laughs> Yeah, they, they all dipped. Or they probably dipped during the melee. Remember, there was like a lot of fights going around outside of your little group. Oh, that's like, true. Plus, we got separated from them just by me getting my ass handed to me by a child. This is true, yes. Um, I think they watched that, but they were probably a little bit farther because you guys definitely like poured in and spoke yeah. to Davos and stuff. Yeah. Um, but oh, the, the oh, panic Davos! kind of... Davos! Oh. Is Davos okay? <laughs> uh, you don't see him, but you haven't seen him since the, the, the whole panic began. So Orgolas gonna yell uh, out into the fog. Davos, uh, you only are greeted with the quiet strange of the ocean, um, the lifeless beach seeming to choke the air with not even the sound of waves emanating from the rocky coast. Um, you seem to be, as far as you can tell, pretty much alone. Um, I need you all to make a deck save as the ground rumbles once more. Ah. Uh. 20. All right. Nat 20. Okay, you guys are fine? Seven. Uh, you are not fine, Jimothy, as you were knocked prone. And drowning um, into the water. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just... Um, uh, the ground rumbles even more violently as the surface of the ocean is shattered with the emergence of a large entanglement of eel-like blue heads. The monstrosity roars from its five mouths that twist and slither with squid-like tendrils hanging from its maws, its giant form that descends into the ocean's depths. Uh, I need you all to roll initiative again. Oh, 17. Nat one. Nat one as well. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you guys nat 20, then nat one. Okay. Um, as the initial shockwave didn't make you fall over, but this did. So you guys just both go, oh, and you fall down. Now we're all drowning. <sighs> uh, give me a second. Orgolath accepts. Apparently it's not that bad of a way to go. I feel like it would be the most panicky way to go. I don't know. I mean, I've never drowned before, but, uh... That you know of. What does that mean? <laughs> so, the order is going to be Jimothy, the large Hydra, and then you guys. Uh, the who has the higher... Hydra. Oh, I it's absolutely gonna be have the highest first, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's probably going to be... It's probably going to be Paleos first. Gee, I wonder who's going to go first. Um, it's a bit far away, and by a bit, I mean it is literally, like, far away uh, but you're pretty sure those mouths could get up close to you if they wanted uh, Jimothy what are you doing ah oh boy I don't, how many heads are there again there are five this thing is over 30 feet tall Who? Uh, I guess I'm going to cast uh, guardian of faith and make it appear next you to it stand up I hope how far away can you cast guardian of faith <laughs> no, uh, just underwater. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, how far? Well, yeah, okay, exactly? so yes, first, yeah, first, Jimothy's gonna stand up. Okay, and not go anywhere. Yeah. Uh, but, where does? You know. How far away can you cast Guardian of Faith? That is what I am looking up. How right far now. is this Hydra? In, in, it is pretty far away. What? Yeah, but we're talking about ranges. It was pretty far. Uh, Thirty feet? Is it sixty feet? Around seventy feet away. Okay, so yeah, got it. Oh, the range of it is thirty feet. So ah. Oh, well. It can move, uh, though, afterwards, just, yeah, right? I was going to say, like, you can... Or I don't think the Guardian can move, but... No, the Guardian doesn't move. <laughs> gotcha. But you can still preemptively just put it up and, like, chill by it and make the Hydra come to us. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to put... I'm going to put don't it in between... Don't fuck with me. <laughs> I'm going to put it in between us and the Hydra. Okay. But, like, 30 feet I, I think, actually, you put it, like, right in front of us. Probably. 
Because the Hydra is yeah, going to move right. before we do. I'm going to put it like 15 fo feet in front of yeah, us. There we go. That's, that's, a good, that's a good one. And then I'm going to use my uh, bonus action to swing my hammer around and okay. see what it does. Are you doing Storming Guard? Yeah. Okay. Uh, did you roll a dice for me? Yeah, I rolled a three. Uh, your next regular attack gets plus two lightning damage. Okay. As you feel the storm surge within you. Because cheesy dialogue is my speciality. <laughs> there you go. Uh, but yeah, so you summon this thing, lightning. What do you... Uh, and the, that's it. That's, okay. that's the end of it. As um, one of the... Uh, <laughs> Uh, the Hydra head starts to just start shooting in towards you guys, slamming into the ground in front of you and attacking you guys. Uh, uh, they miss. The first one misses entirely. Um, it just slams the earth and only hurts itself, it seems. The second one misses as well. Um, third one misses. And fourth one misses. And fifth one misses. So they're all just like slamming the coastline. Um, I need all of you to make deck saves really quick. So, you only need Jimothy to make a deck save, because Orgoloth and I are still prone. Uh, okay, so... Whew. Um, as you guys are going to be taking 10 damage each. Mm. Oh, boy. And just, like, the, the force of these things hitting the ground around you is, like, causing shit to, like, fly up and stuff. So, I would still take only 5 damage from that, right? Well, because of his important... But you didn't actually make the deck save, though. But it's it still like a failing you a deck save. Well, no, but you didn't roll and fail it. I mean, it could be... I don't know. That sounds like... Because you weren't like on well, your feet. Well, okay. Before. The exact wording in the book is are subjected to an effect that I'll allows say, you to make I'll a say dexterity this. saving throw, and I wasn't allowed to make one, so I would say, yeah, I do take full damage. Yeah. Okay. That's that fine. My, yeah, because it's you can't... Yeah, it like, makes sense. I can't yeah. actually do yeah. anything to mitigate it. Mm -hmm. Um... But yeah, the, uh, that's the end of its turn. Almost all of the heads retreat, except for one which stays nearby. Um, and it, like, looks at you guys with, like, a... <laughs> and it, like, snaps at you guys. It's pretty fucking scary. Um, Paleus, it is your turn. What are you doing? Uh, I guess I'll just get up and, uh... So it hasn't actually made its way over to us yet or anything, right? It is actually very close by. It is within 20 feet. Oh. Uh... One of the heads, I mean. Like, the main body is still 70 feet away, but the head has moved that close in. Okay, so I'm just gonna... I'm gonna get up and just ready an attack for it. I will remind you, um, based on what I said earlier, these heads are about... Uh, 10 feet high? Like, they're huge. This, uh, this feels like a fight we don't want. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, like, Orgoloth fucks off, and that's, <laughs> that's his turn. <laughs> Okay, for now, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to get up, I'm going to ready an attack. Can you roll nature for me, by the way? Yeah. Super quick. Uh, 17. A hydra is a large, five-headed, to sometimes more, beast, depending on how old it is. Hydras are known for living in dark oceans, large lakes, or other deep water terrains. Um, a hydra can live several hundred years, and over its lifetime can accrue multiple heads, sometimes ending up with tens of heads some uh historians have shown heads uh amounts that reach about 80 from what is uh left of records um what you are fighting is probably a smaller hydra or a newer fledgling hydra and it looks a little bit different than most in that it is blue as opposed to the traditional orange and it has tendrils which make it more squid like as opposed to something that is more uh dragon-esque um, its size also lends itself to be a little bit less um, intimidating than most hydras, as most hydras are uh, about the size of, um, I'd say, two of these in height. Right, well, we are not uh, an army. We're only level eight guys, so I don't know. It doesn't seem like a... Which what I'm saying is this is a... For Paleus, you can tell this is a significantly more doable fight than a like a, a like an ultra hydra or something, you know. Yeah. This is like a. I wasn't leaving. I. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's one I'm of you. Standing this is up. slightly more doable than impossible. I'm readying an attack. Uh, if it gets within, like, if any part of it gets within ten feet, I want to start an attack. Uh, and mm -hmm. I, for the bonus action, um, want to go ahead and spend 
uh, one, wait, hang on, whoa, hold up, hang on, hang on. You have two key points left. Yeah, I just want to check something. Okay, yeah, I just want to spend one key point to use dodge. Uh, and that's my turn. Okay. Um, is that it for your turn? Yeah, that's it. Okay, uh, Orgoloth. Actually, um, Peleus and Orgoloth, you both make um, perception checks for me really quick. All right. Hi. 21. 19. Okay, you both uh, look over to the side at all the debris that has been kind of scattered by this thing, and you see what looks to be the um, sort of broken down uh, shopkeeper stand off to the right. Um, it appears that it has some crossbows and longbows that are available um, if you want to go try and salvage something and try to get yourself some ranged weapons. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. I guess, is it um, still... It's still Peleus' turn, right? No. Yeah. Oh, is that it? Yep, that's it. I used I my whole movement standing up. <laughs> this is true. Uh, oh, Orgoloth, shit. Yeah, I mean, also using my whole movement to stand up. You can... You, I think you can spend your attack to get a second movement. Yeah, it's dash. Uh, it's oh. using your action. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, okay. I'll do that then. Stand up, and then just run over to this little crossbow stand. Can you roll investigation for me? <laughs> I rolled a two. You find about ten arrows and six crossbow bolts total, um, with one crossbow and one bo- a long bow uh, to fa- to spare. Uh, everything else seems to be kind of destroyed or crushed underneath everything else in the wreckage. So it's a decent amount of uh, ammunition, but not enough to last um, <laughs> well past a, f- a fight or two, if that makes any sense. So I have a better idea. I mm-hmm. would like to... Uh, you cannot use Orgoloth Jr. as an arrow. No, no, God, I would not. My baby, <laughs> of course not. So, of course, Orgoloth Jr. I couldn't throw. But if I take off my pants, oh, which God. then makes them a lance, and then I tie my sick tat rope around it, I have a javelin that I could probably pull back to me. Yeah. You could try it, definitely. So could we say I'm affixing that as my... Like bonus action is trying to like just tie a knot around it. Can you roll a um, roll to tie a knot? I'm also proficient roll. in tailoring, so I feel like that should give me yeah. Advantage. Roll with advantage Knots. for me. All right. Oops. So without any modifiers, my highest roll was a 16. That's fine. You did it. All right. As you guys watch, as Orgoloth just kind of casually takes off his pants, as it's been a while since you've mentioned, you've, we've talked about the pants lance, so it just looks like Orgoloth is casually stripping once again, and then suddenly he has a, a lance in his hands, a, a brilliant blue with a with a silver <laughs> and blade. And he's also got a, <laughs> he's got a lance and a, another lance. I assume you have underwear. Do you not wear underwear? Did anyone in the in So I'm just times? holding the pants lance and uh <laughs> <laughs> ignoring me. I'm sorry, Jimothy. Uh but yeah, so uh I you that's the end of your, your turn, I'm gonna say. Yeah. Uh yeah. Jimothy, it's back to you. Okay. Um And the Hydra hasn't moved towards us at all? It it is still twenty feet away, so it's within distance of you, um to if you wanna go in for a strike, but uh Wait, yeah. it moved into like one of the heads moved, moved in t- t- uh, close enough. One of the okay. heads stayed behind. The other four is still back. Gotcha. Oh, did yeah. it proc um, um, the guardian of faith or whatever? Yeah, it should have. If it came in front of us, mm-hmm. um, is that close enough yep. for the? Well, because the guardian of faith was fifteen in front of us, so it had to have passed through. Or no, it's within five feet of it, though. Yeah, that's. Yeah, it's close enough. So, Jimothy, uh So it had to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. And beat a 14, I assume. Uh, it fails. Okay, so it takes 20 damage. Nice. Okay. Um, that wasn't part of my turn. That was just like an automatic thing. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast Call Lightning on the center head. Uh, well, there's only uh, one head that's in range. I mean, Call cool. Lightning has 120 feet range. Oh, shit, really? Just Hell barely, fucking, then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this guy yeah, okay. up. Okay, Call Lightning. Yeah, call lightning, so he has to make a deck save. Okay. I don't know how he's going to move, but... <laughs> what is the DC? Uh, 14. Okay, uh, he makes it. <laughs> so. Did, did you roll separately for all of its heads that are there, or how does that work? 
He said he was aiming at a central head, so I assumed I would just roll for that. And also, I don't no, know. That's right. I mean, it's one creature, but... Yeah, if, if, it, if it was taking damage for each separate head... Yeah, that, that would be, be a, a little crazy. It, it would need like 600 health to even stand a regular amount of combat. <laughs> like, yeah. All right. Um, Again, splashy gonna, damage to the party. I'm going to use my second... Um, yeah, I'm going to use my second uh, channel divinity to max that damage. So that's 30 damage, so it'll be taking 15 lightning damage. Okay. Um... As uh, one of its heads falls off in the distance. Nice. Get fucked. Oh wait, is another one gonna grow back? Is that how this one works? Hydra grew two back. Yeah. Um, is that the end of your turn? Yes, yes, it is the end of my turn. Okay. As you watch, as it grows back, um, two heads. <laughs> Of course. All right. Yeah. And it looks like it and it comes from the, the fleshy wound of the first one. And they're like, ah, so they're pretty happy to be there to be involved. Yeah, I'm, I'm, um, just, I'm just happy to be here, man. And uh, the first head is going to move away. The one that was there earlier is going to move move back. I'm guessing provoking an attack of opportunity. Uh, from yes. The, yep. So. So it has to beat a 14 deck save. OK. That was on an angle. It makes it. Okay, 10 damage then. Okay. And then okay. that thing can do 60 total, right, before it disappears? Yep. Okay. It's already done a significant... It did 30. That's it's pretty freaking impressive. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a good-ass spell. It is a really good spell. Um, as uh, the the heads are going to start cu- are gonna start slamming and jamming, um, as I need you all to make a deck save... That's going to be it. Miss. 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 And a crit. Okay. Huh. Um, uh, Paleus. What? Oh, on my deck save, I rolled a 17. He, he critted it. Oh. So he's hitting you directly with this one. Um, as you are taking uh, a, a fi- like 15 damage from the head just slamming into your body and you are knocked prone. Okay. Well, sure. oh, that's fine. Well, this fight's already gone to shit. <laughs> but on the bright side, your deck save helped. Did it? For everyone else, yeah. For any, did anyone get under fifteen? Uh, I did. Oh, you're taking three damage. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I got. I nine. rolled. I rolled sixteen. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Yeah. Um, and that head is on top of Paleos right now, so just like, mmm, not really on top because it's gonna move up. You, you could still get up next turn. But but like it's 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 close. Wait 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 wait. wait. Was this, um, wait, hang on. Was this the head that was close to us at first or something? No, different one. What am I being hit by? I thought I I had readied a different one. Out. Another. Yeah. Did that head also? Was uh, there a head that had moved through? in range? Because I had readied up. Uh no, but it did slam down. You could say you punched it while it was coming down. Well, it's fine. Oh wait, was it coming down at us from seventy feet away? Yeah. It is. It is basically slamming its heads into the coastline. Yeah, it like imagine this whipped down this long ass neck like oh, came from yeah. the sky. Oh, yeah. Okay, I it. was visualizing this fight entirely differently from how it was happening. Yeah, the, <laughs> yeah. the actual body of the Hydra is just fuck off away from us. It's been <laughs> yeah. launching its long ass neck heads. Uh, and, uh, okay, well then never mind. But don't worry, this is smaller than what you know. A uh, bigger Hydra would be. So, yay. And the way I know you haven't played it, but the way you described it is like exactly the Hydra that shows up in Dark Souls One, like with the the. I think I've body seen that fight at least. Yeah. But like, it's I mean it's a Hydra. <laughs> yeah, but like the mm. it's even like the squiddy different one, but. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. I have to take a look at that then. But you only um, you only see that I mean it's coincidence in the Ash Lake one. If you like avoid it, it will like leap through the air and fight you from somewhere else, and you can see its body. Huh. Interesting. Um. So, slams down. Uh, Paleus, if you want, do the uh, attack just on its uh, head. Oh, no, no. <laughs> you, you sure? Yeah, that's not it moving in, like, range. That's it doing... That's that's not what I thought was about to happen at all. So oh, okay, that's okay. That's not what I was ready for. <laughs> I like to imagine it's like, he's coming, he's coming. Oh, fuck, he's coming way too fast. Bam! Anyway. <laughs> uh, 
It's it's near. It's like basically five feet away from Peleus because uh, myth. Um, but yeah, it's, it, it it slithers off of Pale, of Peleus' semi squished body. Uh, Peleus, it is now your turn. What are you doing? Okay, so it's uh, Jimothy. Also, really quick. I'm so so sorry, Jimothy. Does it uh, provoke an attack of opportunity? If it goes within ten feet of it, yeah. Is it within Wait, ten feet? What the head? It's yeah. It's five feet away from Peleus. So, yeah. Okay. So yeah, roll for attack. Or what? I roll for dex, right? Yeah, yeah. You roll for dex. He fails it. All right, twenty more damage. All right, twenty more damage. Oh my god. Okay, that head just it, dies. Hell yeah. Every single time, every single time it hits it is guaranteed twenty damage. Yeah. Damn. It's and okay. then ten on a fail, and then it's um, but it can only do a max of sixty damage before it disappears. Has it done the max? No, it's a twenty. It's, it's a fifty now. Okay. To making sure. Um. But yeah, so that head just kind of like dies right next Did to Did it like die? Oh, not on top of him? Like No, no, no. Uh, I said it slithered it's dark. off. Okay. That would have been hilarious and mean, but yeah. Uh, Paleus, it is now your turn. You are staring at the lifeless head of um, what looks to be a uh, the Hydra's body. Boy. Uh, or Hydra's snake head. There's a whole lot of jack all I can do since the rest of it is so far away. So, uh. You do have a friend with longbows and ranged weapons. Uh, yeah, but I still wouldn't be able to attack this turn because I'm still prone. Oh, wait, yes, I can. I can use my last key. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to stand up, use my last key to use dash, walk over, grab one of those longbows since I'm proficient with them. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Orgoloth, you are left with the, the crossbow as, as Paley's like, just give me this. <laughs> <laughs> I've just had these monsters today. <laughs> the arrows. <laughs> I'm, I'm just holding on to my lance. <laughs> this is true. Um, as uh, yeah, Peleus, what are you doing? I, I'm gonna fire it. Uh, I don't. I, whichever head, the one. You can hit any of them. I mean, okay, so the only one that had been hit prior to this, other than the lightning one, is now dead, right? And all the rest of them are untouched. Yeah. Uh, and there's two ones that are that are fresh and new, sparkle clean. Oh man. Yeah, fuck this guy. I'm gonna shoot the, the sparkly clean one of the sparkly clean ones. Okay. Before it gets a chance As... to grow scales or something, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know how long. I mean, they all work. look the same, but yeah. So you 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 wind up a shot and you fire it. Uh, roll for attack for me. Uh, ten. So. Uh, it flips past its head. Uh, I think you still get an extra attack. I right? do. Uh, and I'm gonna roll for it to extra tech. Wait, wait, you have wait. nine bows. You have, you have nine arrows left. Yeah, I'm gonna absolutely fire again. Uh, 16 that time. Okay, you hit. Roll for damage. Uh, <laughs> I do five damage. Nice. As uh, it takes five damage and just like hit it in the like neck, like just right above its like mouth, like where its cheek would be. It starts like ah, in the distance. As uh. Sorry, math. Um, is that the end of your turn? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Orgoloth, back to you. What are okay. you doing? So how far away are its heads again? Uh, its heads are all 70 feet away. Hmm, okay. At the moment, there's nothing I can possibly do to hit, so I'm just going to run like my full movement towards it. So you're going to run down the coast? Yes. Okay. What is it? Wait, hang on. So we're, I know you said we're by a cliff. Are we like right at this cliff's edge? You are in, there are multiple edges of cliffs and then there's water and then there's where the thing is. Okay. So it's like, it is like 70 feet of water between us and this thing. Like open air. Yeah. Past the cliff. Oh, well, okay. There's not really, uh, oh, you know what? Actually, no, I could do, um, there's useful stuff. Fuck it. Uh, cause I'm part sorcerer. Okay. You know, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna cast the uh, true strike cantrip. Okay. Oh no! Nope. that do? Nope, I lied. It doesn't have a long enough range. Okay. It's because I ha I don't cast it on myself. I cast it on someone else. Gotcha. Um. Okay. I guess you could just ready the action. That's it. Yeah, I'll just ready the action. Okay. Uh, Jimothy, it's back to you. What are you doing? Hmm. I'm expecting it to come from either in front of or on top of me because I just saw what happened to Peleus though. So I'm ready for it. how how many heads are there now? Six, six heads. But one of them okay. is just kind of chilling, dead. 
I, I think I'm just gonna I think I'm just gonna use my last bit of call lightning <laughs> on this out on like the on like the mid the, the center body because obviously killing heads doesn't seem to work very well so uh, yeah I'm just gonna uh, cast call lightning on the center body okay uh, cast lightning is a deck save of what is it 14 he makes it oh come I on. don't know how <laughs> Uh, so I rolled uh, 18 damage, so 9 okay. damage. Okay. So And then I'm going to use the bonus action on the Storm Hammer. Uh, roll f- for Storm Hammer. I rolled a 3. Nothing happens. Okay. As uh, off in the distance, uh, one of its heads looks like it's like kind of wavering uh, from the damage it's received. As... Um, Another reaches down, bites at the neck of the one that died, rips it off, and then two more pop up in its place. Of course. Um, as it is going to attack again, can you guys roll deck saves? Nope. 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 I only rolled a six. I rolled a 12. I rolled a 19. Okay. Six and 12 fail. So you've taken four damage from the blunt force. Um, the only one getting hit right now is going to be uh, or, uh, Orgoloth as one slams down on you. Sorry, and how much damage from the initial, from the failed deck save? Four. Four? Okay. Yeah. And then from the <clears> slam? <throat> uh, it's doing another 15 damage with the slam. And I was holding my sword above my head, so... Yeah, no, it's fine. You can... I, I'll, I'll accept it. <laughs> okay. Because I, I was ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> just like stab your lance into its body as like well, I was thinking just... about the sword but it doesn't matter because I only rolled a um, 7 to hit so okay I imagine that's not going to do it no well, it misses as it hits you first it's like it, it comes in at kind of like a weird oh, angle actually, and it's like what the wait a minute. what's up can I do my shield on reaction because that's an on reaction um, to cast shield which uh, reaction tree, you hit by an attack or target by a match of the invisible. Until the start of your next turn, you have plus five bonus AC, including against the triggering attack. So, it, okay. it, uh, my AC for that attack that just happened is 23. Yeah, it critted. Oh, it crit? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, well, fuck it. I, I didn't hear you mention the part about the crit then. All right, no It's mind. fine. It's, it's fine. It, it really is going to, it's having a hard time hitting you guys without critting, pretty much. Okay, well, I'm at... But it has seven chances to do it, so... I'm at seven out. health. Yeah. As, uh, Peleus, it's your turn. What are you doing? Boy, Peleus is pretty sure we're all gonna die here. Uh... <laughs> Orgol- Orgolos accepted it. Uh, that being said, Peleus isn't one to run from a fight, so he's gonna knock up another arrow and fire it, uh... At, uh... Why not use some of your magic fire powers, man? I mean, I could, but... Oh, no, wait, yeah, Firebolt does have a range of... Uh, I'm out of key, that's why I didn't think about it. Um, Firebolt yeah. does have a range of 120 feet. Uh, so, yeah. Let's hit the one that's all uh, all wavering and, and dying. Uh, with mm-hmm. Firebolt. Okay. Uh, do I have to roll a deck save for that? No, that's a, that's a spell attack. So. Okay, just roll for deck. 18. Yep, you hit. Roll for damage. Uh, God, I gotta find it again. It's a cantrip. Uh, 1d10 fire damage. Okay. <laughs> Two. <laughs> okay. Two, as you watch the head scream in pain as your bolt kind of burns through it even hotter than you would have expected. Um, as it kind of writhes around and like slides off of Orgoloth, kind of freeing him from underneath it. God, I knew um, it. I knew it. And I could have done something about this so much earlier. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay. Orgoloth, it is up. It is your turn now. What do you do? Uh, sorry. So is this head just chilling there still? In front of you now. It's five feet away. All right. I'm just going to attack it. Okay. Uh, roll for, di- roll for attack. Uh, that's a 22. It's roll for damage. Uh, just nine. Um, okay. Nine damage? Yeah, on the first attack. Um, you have a second attack? Yep. Go for it. Oh, I only rolled a seven. Uh, or a, you can use, yeah. you can use inspiration. Yeah, fuck it. I will do that. Okay, this one, this one's a 19. Yep, you hit. Roll for damage. 
Oh, I did nine again. Okay, cool. That's actually good enough. As the head in front of you just kind of dies as you slash into it, blood spraying everywhere. This like weird gooey blue sort of blood. Doesn't really do anything weird to you, just is gross. Um, as the head falls limp and, and just kind of dies in front of you. Uh, Jimothy, it is back up to you. Okay, I'm gonna cast another prayer of healing on everybody. Okay, do that. You are how much? How many spell slots do you have, dude? Um, I mean, I've been using different levels of spells each time I've done something. Damn. So I'm out of third and fourth level spells, and I've got two second level spells. Okay, just thought I ask. Yeah, I've been keeping track. No, I, I trust you. I just didn't know myself, and I was. Yeah. It's Clerks. just I've been also using a lot of spells. <laughs> this, is tr- this is true. Yeah, that's why I'm like, wow, you have a lot of spells. And it's like we've never been in that situation. But well, also yeah. cleric. Yeah, also cleric. I'm, I'm, I am also a, uh, a, a spellcaster, you know. Yeah. Uh, so that is going to be um, 2d8 plus 6, I believe. Okay. So 20 health. Okay, awesome. How much health does everyone have? I think, Jimothy, you're at 54? No. No. No, I'm at, uh... I'm at 38 now. Okay. Uh, Peleus, I'm at where are you at? 42. And Orgoloth. I'm at 27. Oh, God. <laughs> I was yeah, at 7 health. Was... I got my ass kicked. <laughs> this yes, is my got... third combat encounter in an hour. And he got space jammed. Yeah. I mean, Peleus did too. Like, you know, he's he's taken some shit as well. The voice in the back of your mind is like, even if you fought this thing first, you would still get your ass kicked. Oh, you're probably right. Because <laughs> you're a piece of shit. It's a Hydra. <laughs> <laughs> your father could kill a Hydra. My fa- father has a little wiener. <laughs> <laughs> um... As uh, as Orgoloth is like has a flashback of bad dick. Gross. Um, it's now the Hydra's turn, and um, it does rip off the head again, but weirdly, no he- new head grows back. Um, as uh, it tries to slam down on you again, everyone roll deck saves. Oh boy. First one misses. That's Twenty. First one misses. Uh, You're gonna 12. be fine then. Eighteen. Uh, two of them hit. Everyone that got under uh, 15 is taking 12 damage mm-hmm. as a few of them slam really close. Uh, if you rolled above it, you get like 6 damage. But, or if you're Paleus, yeah. you probably take 0. Yeah. Just fuck you, Paleus. He jumps at just the right moment. <laughs> when the elevator hits the... Yeah. the, the <laughs> you were gonna jump. Except in this so, case, it might actually work. Yeah. Because you're not building momentum yourself. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. So that's at the end of its turn. One of its heads is still there. Or actually, two of its heads are still there. Paleus, what are you doing? Uh, and they're looking around at you guys. Wait, so is there a head close to us? Uh, yes. Uh, also, Jimothy, do you still have the Guardian of Order? Um, Guardian of Faith. Thank you. Sorry, wrong name. Oh, the Guardian of Faith. Um, I don't know. I don't if it. I if think it, it still has. It, it's still. It's still out. We forgot yeah. to proc the last ten damage of it. That's time. what I meant. Yeah. So. so. But I mean, it pretty much it. automatically because yeah. if you fail it, it takes ten damage. If you succeed, it can't do more than ten damage and it has ten left. Right. So, so it's just gonna take. It's gonna take ten, 10 damage, damage yeah. on the yep. head on the left. And then. So poof. the ones close. Yeah. Paleus, what are you doing? Is there a torch or anything like that near me? Roll investigation. <laughs> uh, 14. Uh, you see one, but it's wet. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to grab it uh, and use my elemental attunement to instantly light a torch near me. It It is going to take your movement to do that because of how wet it, because it's wet. So. Uh, man. Okay. Uh, that's fine. I'm still gonna do it. Okay. So now I've got this lit torch. Okay. Uh, it's a tiki torch, by the way. Oh, man. Now I'm a racist. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it just, it it just was, dawned it, on me. <laughs> it was from a festive shop, but yeah, I guess so. Oh, man. 
again? Okay, um... Let's see. Are you gonna toss that torch? Maybe, uh... So it's a tiki torch then, so does it have reach at all? Like, what's the range on this tiki torch? How... Uh, an extra five feet, so ten feet. Okay, cool. How close am I to the nearest head? Uh, about ten feet away. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jab it. I'm gonna jab right at it. Okay, uh, roll for improvised weapon. I have no idea. I think you can use anything as a martial weapon, right? Or... I mean, if... Can you? I don't know. I don't know how improvised weapons work at all. Uh... I would argue that it has it, the same basic shape as a staff, uh, but... Uh, roll for a 1d4 uh, fire damage on top of your regular um, roll, okay. but it'll only last two rounds. Okay, let's see if it hits. Uh, yeah, that hits at 17, so, right? Okay, roll for damage. So 4 plus 4, 8 divided by 4, uh, or divided by 2, so 4, plus the one the 1d4... Yep. Uh, so one, so five damage total. Okay. And that was fire, so I imagine as this a, not super happy. <laughs> it's like, ah! and it's like, it's like in pain as it gets hurt, and my mic peaks. Um, as uh, yeah, it's it's not doing too hot. All right, it is doing too hot, and that's what it doesn't like. Um, are you gonna? You can do your second attack. Oh man, I, I can. Cause... All right, let's do that. Yep. Uh, 17 again. Ooh. Yep, roll for damage. Five damage again, but with different math this time. Okay. So, uh, yeah, you do a significant amount of damage that takes another singeing burn. Uh, Orgoloth, it is your turn. What are you doing? I'm gonna whack him. Okay, whack that one. Are you gonna whack it in its burns? Yeah! Whack it in its burns. Roll for, da- roll for attack. Uh, 16. Yep, you hit. Roll for damage. That's gonna be 11. Okay, so that's... And I nat um, 20 the next one. Oh my god, okay, roll for... Roll for... That's gonna do 22. Damage? Yep. Wow, okay. Um, it is taking a significant beating from this, as the <laughs> the pain is clearly affecting it. Um, uh, Jimothy, what are you doing? I'm gonna take out my crossbow and fire off a uh, bolt at its head. It will be disadvantaged because you are in melee range. Oh, then I'm just going to slice it with Colonel Mustard. Okay. Uh, Remember to add plus two lightning damage because you have not done a a regular attack yet. Right. Yeah. Okay. So so roll for attack. All right. I got a uh, 17. You hit. Roll for damage. All right. (laughs) So that will be 10 damage total. Oh, wait. No, never mind. Um, 13 damage. Okay. Two, two of that is lightning. Okay. As, uh, yeah, that's really good, dude. Um, it looks like it is really not in a good spot anymore. It has really been roughed up as, like, the whole body seems to be, like, shaking. Um, is that the end of your turn? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, it is. As, uh, the, it, it rips off the dead head from earlier, um, uh, the one that uh, was burned and stuff, as it slinks back into the ocean, and um, like the the head itself, and the head does not regrow back, uh, but it is going in for another slam attack. Jimothy, it's going to try to get away from you, the one that was next to you. Uh, it's going to provoke an attack of opportunity. Okay. So All describe right. to me I... this attack of opportunity. What are you doing? Roll for attack. All right. So I rolled a eighteen. Okay. And so as it um. I go in to stab it in the side of the head. Okay. And that is going to do four damage. You brandish your mystical sword as you just drive it into the skull of this disgustingly huge blue being. Um, a roar emanating from your from your 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 your, your very core as you drive it in and it lets out a mighty scream and all the heads seem to just fall into the ocean and this thing dies. We did it! Woo! All right. <laughs> the crashing... All right. Your your brief celebration is met with the crashing of waves as this thing just falls in the ocean, creates a, a small but sizable, a sizably like small like wave that just kind of splashes over and hits you guys and everything on the shore is... 
uh, the tide kind of seeps back and uh, the fonts of water from earlier are starting to recede and kind of calm down again. Orgolov um, doubts any ability he ever had to size up a fight. <laughs> because, like, uh, he tried to fight a child and got his ass handed to him and was like, fuck this Hydra, <laughs> and then we didn't really have that much trouble. <laughs> Not that much trouble. He almost died. Oh, like I, twice. Would, I, I would like to loot the Hydra. Uh, you find Hydra flesh. Lots of blood. Can I take one of its eyes? Ooh. Can I like, pop out an eye? Do you have 40 hours? I mean, not in real life. I'll give you something better than loot. Take a level. You guys leveled up. <gasps> All right. Ooh. As uh, the townspeople start to uh, return, it seems, including your friends. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Uh, as you see, they are covered in blood. <laughs> um, and it turns out that there was more going on behind you guys. The Hydra being a big problem, but not the only problem. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. But really, did you, you did all the work, right? Of like course. That? Yeah, I um, mean, I, I, I killed it. We get yeah, no true. respect. I yeah. am now Jimothy Hydra Slayer, so <laughs> you're welcome. Baby Hydra uh, I'm I'm going to be uh, introducing in myself <laughs> as Jimothy Hydra Slayer for the rest of this journey. <laughs> um, as the the blue girl walks up and um, pats uh, Jimothy on the back and says, "Wow, you're a tough one." Aw, thanks. Uh, no problem. They always they always underestimate us shorties, but you know it's those big guys over there that can't do jack. I know, right? Or the last shrugs. You guys want to like. I know it's weird because, like, you know, we just we all we all just survived, I guess, a a big invasion of like monsters and stuff. But like, you want to go like meet like my mom? What is your mom gonna make us tea? Oh yeah, she makes like dope tea. Well, her friend makes. We're going. Yeah, and she's and she's leading you along, and you like and like I said, your friends are all coming back. So you see, um, uh, Taurus. Uh, let me get the name right. I'm bad at names. You see Taurus and uh, Slug Knight and Chud. You don't see the big armored guy. He decided to stay in the cart. Yeah, so uh, they're like, who, who is that girl? Like, wh- wh- what, is, what is she? And you hear, like, um, Slug Knight's more like, you know, um, uh, mousy sort of voice, you know, from within her helmet. As, uh, you know, she she asks, like, are, are, you guys, are you guys going with her? Or are we, are we going back to the tavern like what what is she offered us tea i have like three health and it's been raining do you mind if we tag along absolutely not What's we the, don't well, mind i mean i don't think that's up to us it's it's not our house to invite you to <laughs> and she looks back like what's the hold up nothing and i come along okay Nothing. <laughs> who are those people <laughs> they're friends are they coming yeah okay <laughs> and she just keeps walking she does not give a fuck <laughs> how many of you are coming. Um, it, it seems like I guess this this girl is cool with a lot of guests in her tiny home. Um, as she leads the party, as a, you are now a large party of people towards um, what looks to be towards the uh, royal district and is just walking casually up towards the palace and then into the palace. And then just kind of leaves the door open for you guys and just kind of waves you in. And we get, right, I well, go I, in. I come. Yep, me too. Uh, you walk inside in the uh, cerulean um, royal chambers of the uh, Toran royalty, and uh, you see uh, Failing just kind of walk up to the queen and give her a big old hug. She says, oh. "Mom, can we make tea for my friends?" And or so apparently, waves. and so apparently, she's friends with the queen. I would and calls also her mom. like it to be clear that I'm still holding the lance. Okay, so I, you're I not wearing me- pants. Correct. Um, and she kind of looks at you guys and just kind of sighs before saying, Oh, Prince Taurus, I was expecting you. I mean, I apologize for the state of our city. I can't really plan giant monster attacks. And, he's, and he laughs. He says, No worries, no worries. It's, uh, it's totally fine. I, I, I completely understand. I... I don't remember our last communications you mentioning that incidents like this were happening though um as he walks up he seems kind of casual and he seems to be kind of knowing what he's doing um and uh he produces a few gifts that he hands to her all wrapped and uh presents them at her feet uh which is uh, customary here 
and uh, leaves them. They're they're ignored for the rest of the conversation. Um, <laughs> it is. <laughs> Jimothy's like, hey, what are in those gifts? Uh, roll history for me if you want. Any of oh, you guys? Okay. I'm going to take a solid pass on that because I know yeah, Alias would not care at all. Uh, <laughs> That's fair. 11. 11. Uh, you don't know much about the Torrens, but you know uh, that the uh, uh, it is a custom that when you're given a gift, you know, you don't open it or touch it until the guest leaves. You don't want to seem oh. too eager. You appreciate the gift. You don't seem like you're more interested in the gift than their pr- company. So huh. she calls out some servants. They bring out some tea and uh, small tables are set up so that you guys can sit as well. Um, Excellent. And tea is poured for everyone no. in the group, including some little little biscuits and stuff. As the uh, <clears throat> as the large throne room chamber is turned into, I guess you could say, a for, uh, informal tea party ser- uh, area. Um, as Prince Taurus is talking to the queen... Um, more privately, so giving you guys some downtime to relax. Um, as off in the corner, you see a, a figure appear from a shadowy area. Um, <sighs> a man covered in burns uh, who appears to be wearing monk-like clothing. Um, his face a bit more casual than usual, and he, he says, Paleus? I've been, and you recognize I've the voice as well. How are you? Uh, well... We almost lost a few guards there, but we're pretty okay here. As he walks up and he kind of stands next to you, not really sure if it's cool to sit because <laughs> it feels weird. He says, uh, how are, how have your travels been? Yeah. It's been like, let's say three months since you guys last saw him, like two and a half months, just about. But for you, it's been like a day or two, it seems like, you know, um, he seems like a little bit happy to see you, but also kind of like confused because he's not seen you in a while. Um, as he looks down, he notices that there are more um, simple, like triangles on your chest, and he says, "Oh, you, uh, you have four now." As you look down, Paleus, and you realize that there is a fourth uh, symbol, uh, as opposed to the three that you you had at the beginning of the fight, um, and uh, the. Uh, the fourth symbol, which you kind of naturally know what it is, is you have a disadvantage now in darkness as you become somewhat dependent on sunlight. Oh man, I have a spell called darkness for being a dragon. <laughs> I don't gain anything. Nope. I just ranks. lose dark. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I am <laughs> as you... absolutely just opposite Orgoloth now. <laughs> yeah. Um, as uh, he looks at you and he's like, wait a minute, what? Why are they positioned like that? And he just kind of like, like moves your fighting. shirt aside like insistently as he starts like tracing them. He's like, there should only be room for, there should only be room for six. Peleus, why is there room for eight? I'm going to attribute it to the warrior of the sky thing and that your god loves me more than you. Uh, no, but you, <laughs> Peleus, you don't understand. There's never been anyone who's ever had eight. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Paleo starts flexing. He just sighs. Oh. He doesn't really know what to. He, he's, he's like, okay. <laughs> um, as he, uh, as he, uh, I guess, just kind of joins you for tea. Um, after a, a bit of like you know, kind of talking and uh, learning and uh, talking to uh, Phalene, you learn that um, she is what they call a Rothan. Um, they are a type of athletic blue humanoid that live in the trees of Corinth, known for their druidic shaman magic that seems to be neither arcane nor holy in nature. Um, They're also known for their impressive forehead horns, which vary in shape, size, and style and amount. Um, uh, You can notice that um, uh, Phalene has one singular horn protruding from the front of her forehead, uh, along with one smaller horn to the right temple, but not on the left. Um, And... uh, from both her and from Ivan, who seems to be have been here for quite a while. He's been here about 2.5, two and a half months, um, you know, just like staying in this area. And he's been in the Queen's company for about a month. Um, uh, Phalian is uh, a, a, the adopted huh. uh, heir to the throne. Cool. Um, the, the Queen kind of adopting her as her own daughter, having no male heir or king to speak of. Um, just hasn't nothing. Just nothing's happened there. Um is there anything you guys want to talk about with the people that are at the table uh, before Taurus comes back and tells you about what happened with Queen? Well, I'm going to say Peleus is definitely not drinking this tea since last time he accepted tea, he died. All right. 
<laughs> uh, Orgoloth, you gain back three health. As a... Uh, yeah, but uh, is there anything uh, you'd like to talk about or anything? Orgoloth is much too tired from three combat encounters back-to-back to, uh... Don't even care what happened outside of the Hydra yeah. fight. Just like, fuck it, who cares? <laughs> we didn't die. <laughs> um, nobody died, right. seems like. Yes, or none of us. Um, Wait, is 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 small... Uh small blue horned girl mm -hmm. there yeah she's there okay she's the one who brought you in yeah so i'm gonna i'm just gonna ask her straight up so what's up with that bear oh that's my spirit animal your spirit animal yeah kind of like is that like a like a guardian or like you attuned to one is that why you can fight like that oh man how do you get a how do i get a spirit animal hmm i don't know they just kind of find you if they like you Oh. Where did you get yours? Where? What happened? Uh, oh, Coachella. <laughs> Coachella. <laughs> Give me a second to pull up her character information just to be sure. Not. Oh, actually, Burning Man. My bad. Uh. Uh. Well, I got mine by being a, a, a Calfor, basically a sage. Um. And uh, I don't know. It just it lets me take me shapes like bears and. And, uh, and, uh, like eagles taking a shark once. That was cool. Hmm. Um, and kind of now that you like have a chance to, uh, like really look at her, you get like kind of like a very good visual of her. I can explain her in more detail if you'd like, like how she looks and everything. Sure. Okay. Uh, she kind of has taken sort of the tradition and style of the Torrens people, but she's still kind of herself in that, like, you know, she keeps back her, like, cultural identity in that she still wears traditionally Rothan garb, which involves, like, more leather wrappings and the tribal accents and stuff. Um, she has, like I said, swept back white hair, which is raven-like, uh, clipped at the base of her skull with side trails that reach past her jawline and help frame her blue, semi-long pointed ears. Um, she has a few pier uh, piercings that look rather ornate, um, which might be more than just a fashion choice. And, uh, yeah. She's known as, uh, Phalene the Horned. Because she's the only Rothan that has been found in probably around 60 years. Oh, so these are, this, this is a, this is a race that's thought to be extinct? Uh, they are from the, uh, give me one second, I lost the name. They are from... Uh, they are, the Rothan are part of a, uh, a group called the Savage Races, um, that are from the jungled wilds of Corinth, um, which is a huge, huge, uh, Amazonian forest, um, that is mostly unexplored, um, not just due to uninterest, but also just like, it is super deadly. And so anyone that goes in there tends to not come out. And so the fact oh, that, that sounds fun. yeah, um, let's go. Yeah. Upon asking, she's gonna she's she doesn't seem to be too keen on telling you exactly why she's here or what brought her out of the uh the jungles uh but uh she's happy to really talk about anything else so what's your guys's main export out of here oh uh f fish is a big thing and then just like um we have a thing with the um some of the uh coastal islands that uh produce their own like my like ores and things some of the some of the islands around here are big mining uh, mining areas um, we also produce a lot of culture, is what the queen says. Mom, <laughs> she likes when I call her queen at home, but like, I don't know, it's weird. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's, we're, we're not really super crazy about like, you know, military stuff. Best ale on the coast. Only ale Ooh, on the coast. Okay. Now you're oh, speaking oh. our language. <laughs> yeah. Um. Paleus eats a rum raisin. <laughs> Roll How? For, roll, <laughs> do you have any left? Yeah, raisin hell, I have am I two right? Left. Well, now I have one left, but I have two roll left. Roll for raisin. Five. I get drunk this time. Okay, what'd you roll? Raisin hell. I rolled raisin a five. hell. Oh wow, yeah, you are drunk. Um as that kind of hits you like a like a like a like a punch in the face, um, your uh injuries kind of making you a little bit weaker in spirits. Uh yes. as uh Taurus walks back from his talk with Queen Herrera. Um, and, uh, she, and he says, uh, well, I've spoken to the queen and, um, she, sa she said that, um, uh, she consulted Nashi 
few weeks ago, and it seems that there are more monster attacks happening lately um, than they have expected. Uh, if, if, I mean, they, they've never experienced something that bad, and it's, it's likely only going to get worse. So we kind of have a deal going, if you guys are willing to help. I mean, can we grind to level up? Is that the... <laughs> but just chilling on the coast? Well, like, oh, here it comes. All right, guys. Well, it's it's more that um, there is a, a particularly sacred temple to the uh, people of Torin, Um And uh, the elder woman, Nashi, seems to think that it is corrupted. Now, if mm. you know anything about... <clears throat> if you know anything about the people of Torin, it's that they can't go to places that are tainted with blight or anything. So they need us to go um i can't go personally i have to stay here and continue our negotiations on other matters but if you could do this this would be a great service to the kingdom and it would be truly helpful it might it might stop some of these monster attacks and let us um do what we came here for which is to do these peace negotiations and deal with the iron sun oh well dark and blighted sounds like my kind of place so all right I am game. All right, so Orgoloth is game. How about Jimothy and Peleus? Uh, yeah, Jimothy's game. Jimothy is good to go on another adventure. <laughs> can we sleep first? <laughs> yes, please, absolutely. <laughs> sure, you can sleep. He I've says with a chuckle. Like... Uh, hopefully, just leave in the mor- Just promise to leave sometime in the morning so that we can make sure to take care of this before it somehow gets even worse. Orgoloth just burps or farts loudly. Mm-hmm. Just whatever's more rude. <laughs> <laughs> he sighs and looks at Slug Knight, and Slug Knight just whacks you on the back of the head for, like, three damage. Oh, uh, Argoloth accepts it. <laughs> All the benefits of the Peleus, tea now gone away. Hmm? Peleus, having heard that he can sleep, uh, and being both drunk and having no tact, decides to just lay down and start sleeping. Like, right <laughs> here in this tea room. <laughs> and so are three brave warriors... Um, make make fools of themselves in front of royalty, as next week they will be tackling the tainted dungeon of Torrens Coast. Mm-hmm.